Oh, look, it's a brand new fucking day. How about that, huh? What's up? I've never been here before. I definitely haven't spent 40 minutes troubleshooting something I could have solved last night, but I looked and thought it was almost done and it was late, and I was like, I'm going to bed, I'll do it in the morning. Here it is. It's a thing you'll get to learn when you get as old as I do. Which is that life ain't perfect, okay? And you better just half-assed everything, alright? Because if you half-assed it, you can just finish half-assing it later. Why do what you can do today, what you can do tomorrow? Do you at least... Yes, I did finish FUBAR. FUBAR was good. To be fair, I was fucking doing this while watching FUBAR, so... <laughs> You know I was paying more attention to FUBAR than this. FUBAR was good. I, I love the... I love the... The guy that's like finally convinced him to, to cut off his nut. And he's like, you're being selfish. You're gonna save your life by going. And, and then he jumps off the bridge and fucking dies. And then they're just like goofing off. Hey, you know, we don't... Uh, we're, we're not really working or anything. So if you need help around the house, like we, we can come and do stuff, you know? <laughs> Fubar was a mockumentary, but it honestly could have been real. You met Tron a couple of times? Dude, that's cool. That's really cool. That it was a very fun movie. It was a very fun movie. There were there were moments where you're like, okay, I get it. It's a mockumentary. But there's a couple that were, you know. You know sometimes when you're at a party. And, like, you're trying to talk to this guy, but he's, like, loaded. And you go up and you say, how's it going? And he's like, woo! And he's freaking out. And you're trying to have a conversation, and, and he's just so loaded. And you realize to yourself, the only way to talk to him is to catch up. <laughs> Can I talk to drunk people while sober? Yeah. <laughs> it's so true. <coughs> their their thought process isn't the same. All right, all right, all right. Oh look, it's the first time I've ever seen this cutscene. Now do you catch up, best buds for life? If you catch up, you'll wake up uh, like on their couch, and then you'll be like, "What the hell?" And be like, "Yeah, you needed a place. You asked for a place to crash. It's fine." And then you're friends forever. And you don't really know why. And years down the line, you find out they're a fucked up human being. You know? <laughs> I've never shit. liked the city, but it's the only place I would ever call home. Met most I was sold into weed. forced labor when I was a kid, working in dilapidated weed, manufacturers weed and workshops. I guess I would have lived my whole life like that, had I not been good enough a sneak as to join the guild of thieves Little and assassins a few years like, nice later, snake, taking man. a few jobs That's ranging so from street nice makings to infiltrating man. posh estates. For the first <laughs> time in my life, I That's felt awesome. I was good at something. I once stole a little trinket that reacts to light. And I was able to go anywhere unnoticed with it. But I was careless. And that won me a seven year exile to the ore mines in the mountain ranges up north. It could have been worse. I could have been. I don't know if I've met anybody specifically. Uh, its brand of justice. I'm trying to think. It took me years to I've escape. definitely smoked weed with all but my now, friends, but I don't know if I've, uh, if I've specifically met Everything somebody because of changed. weed. I recognize nothing. These old streets that once seemed familiar are now darker and more twisted. And by it's the been a common it, talking topic when talking to new people, than it was but, I, but most of the time the when I'm out, like, I, the streets and then like I'm out somewhere and I don't have the opportunity to, and rogues to just light it up, back I gotta drive like home. Rats. I need money, food, and literally and just walk past crash. each other in the street and circle up a so conversation around. That's I amazing. Find my old associate Dahlquist. That's how... So dreams we used made. to operate from a small borough within Newmarket called White Bell, and I've heard that nowadays, nowadays people would be like, "Why would you talk to a stranger? Sort. That's so weird." White it's Bell like... was closed at night, 
so I'll have to sneak around. What, were you not alive during, like, I don't know, the fucking 700 years of humanity that exists? The police in shouldn't bother humanity as as exists? How else are you supposed to talk to somebody? You, do you go up to the grocery store counter to. and just hand it, put be all be your groceries the on, the, the on the conveyor belt and stand there Thankfully, silently, and when they ask you about paper or plastic, you don't say anything because you don't need to convey it. Oh, you gotta talk to people. Where most of White Bell's finest thugs live. Slipping by these guys unnoticed. Oh, yeah, be too yeah it's kind of weird. You and can't really be just nice be like, hey, how's it going? Like, people are like, why are you talking to me? You must need a reason to talk to me. It's like, oh, I'm just. Think that my forced being a toil was going to put an end to yeah, you're not today. allowed to acknowledge I'll anyone in public in anymore. It's really weird. Like, Soon social enough. norms have changed so much. That's what's, like, weird about watching, like, old movies, too, like 50s movies and, like, shit like that is. They'll just talk to people on the street. Or, like, people are so much more open to communicate because that's the only way to get information across. You can't be like, why are you talking to me, dickhead? Anything you could say to me, I can look up online and learn for myself. It's like, because we're human beings. Because I'm made of meat. Because I my, my heart goes boom, 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 boom. And, like, blood goes around in this cardiovascular system, you know? And I'm not like, it's a robot, I don't, I don't know. So I grew up and it's hard to override sometimes. I mean, I'm not the most, it definitely feels weird now to go out and just like start talking to people. But I, I don't think it's weird to talk to people in public anymore, which I guess is why like sometimes it, seems kind of strange but i do think it's like weird to like strike up a conversation with somebody in the grocery store if i'm out on the street and you want to talk to me i'm like okay that's fine or like i'm walking between my car doing something if i'm actively grocery shopping like bro you can see i got meat in my cart you can see i got frozen goods in my cart and i'm trying to get to the thing stop fucking talking to me man like say oh hey nice to see you here and move on you know if i if i'm working on something it, you better at least be ready to walk with me while I'm doing it. If you're like, I get you're doing something, just keep doing it. I'm just going to walk with you. I'll be like, okay, fine. And we can go we can go along business. But if you're doing something and I'm doing something, and you stop me from doing my thing to just talk to me, yeah, I know. It's like, give me a second. Shit happens all the time. Be watching something downstairs or like watching some TV and people just come up and start like talking to me and it's like Do you not see what I'm doing? And they're like, oh sorry. I'm like, I don't know, use your eyes for a second. The one I love this one. This one is fucking hilarious. Cause it's just my dad. My it's my dad being my dad. But like whenever he has like a doctor's appointment. Or, like, a, a phone call with his doctor. He just puts that shit on speakerphone. And just, like, walks around the kitchen and gets stuff and talks to his doctor. So, we'll be, like, doing something and he'll get a call and just put it on speaker. And then, like, have a conversation with his doctor or, like, his brother while he's, like, doing stuff. And it's, like, bro, there's other people, like, right here doing stuff. Like, we don't all need to be part of this conversation. Now, because it's on speakerphone, we got to be quiet or else it's going to be picked up on. The, it's, like stop <laughs> it's funny it's not like horrible it's like a phone call it lasts like 15 minutes but it's like jesus christ <laughs> like where's the social awareness here <laughs> Jeez, my grandpa does that too because he's old as fuck Okay, okay. Everything is getting more and more expensive. It's becoming harder to live. Now I understand why coin fakers are so prevalent. I can't say this aloud, but I think all that is caused by the remending that's been going on since we've gone to war. <laughs> yes, I love I love copper and lead mixed inside. Of course that'll make the price of gold go down. I guess even the Baron's purse is strained. He may be trying to whitewash it. Yeah, but we're same. The ones that end up suffering. I like going to the garage or something, and like, or or step outside and and like in my backyard or something. <laughs> I 
I'll get a phone call and be like, oh, sh shit, I'll be right back. And then I'll, like, step into the garage and pick it up, and it'll just be one of my friends saying something <laughs> stupid. And then like, they'll hang up, and it's like, it doesn't even require a response. And it's like, oh, you know, I still wanted to make sure I was out of the way. I'm just so people conscious. I don't want to, I don't want to be like a... Not a noisy. I don't like it when people are noisy around me when I'm trying to do stuff, so I try to be as unnoisy as possible. Yet well, no point in trying to open that gate. I need to find a way around it. This one? White bell. That's what they call these nuts. <laughs> My two white bells, eh, hey, you know, hey, hey, uh. Is this, is this a steel pipe I can pick up and throw? Or is it an arrow? Oh man, we're back in Thief. How the fuck did that happen? Dude, look at this. Some big city streets here. I'm, I'm excited. I'm gonna turn my damn lights off or something. Am I allowed to? Am I talking? No. Okay. This business is not a charity. You touch it, you buy it. Food shop owner. I need to turn the brightness up a little bit more. Probably do. Not that I like really like turning the brightness up a ton, but it, it's so much darker on OBS than it is like for me. I don't know why, but it just seems like something that is common across all games. I might be able to put, I think I've put gamma on OBS before to just brighten it a little bit, but it just doesn't look right especially when i adjust the brightness in game myself then it gets all it's exactly the same is it not i can see it oh god oh it doesn't actually do anything for you guys when i slide it oh that's weird well, i might as well leave it here then Oh, I do remember this fucking game. I this is exactly how it was before. I I, I remember doing this shit as well. All right, hold on. Filter, new filter. Um. I think it's color correction. Oh, this is the game you set this shit up for, but it's perfect now. You're probably about to make it too bright. Okay. If it was fine how it was before, I was just worried it was a little too... I mean, I can just take this filter off whenever. It's just... It's because that was set up on the, my old thing. We had enough equipment it's dark, but it's not too dark. It's a game about shadows. All right, uh, I'm just, well, I'm just making sure. That's what you get We've definitely played stupid war. Seriously, we can't even get close to White Bell anymore. Everybody knows it's full of rogues, and we can't even do our job. You really want to team up with these white ball losers? They don't even have uniforms. <sighs> oh, excuse me, Mister. I do the least amount of work, and I just worry about my pay. I find myself having more consideration for my task than you do. I'd like to teach those taverns what real police brutality is, so they haunt another part of town. Psh, at least this keeps me from ending up in a gutter. <laughs> what is this? Oh, I'm sorry, I only care about my pay and not my work. You can 
design a horse in the dark engine, but you can't make it drink. You can't make it work. What the fuck is that? Yes, this is, uh... This is the Black Parade. This is a whole new level. Uh, it is like a mod that's been being made for like seven years, and it's finally come out. It's... It's apparently huge. It's like a game's worth of beef, and so I'm... Yeah, but you need to download the levels for the mod separately. Uh, do I? Am I dumb? I, I just downloaded the, the mod and it launched. Oh, you do it in the, um... That was the whole epic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Otherwise, yes, yes, yes. You, uh, you download them in that, yeah, and then you launch through that. You can tell it to launch either the base game levels or the fan-made levels. I'm trying to sleep in here. It's a great over there. I don't even have a fucking... Oh, maybe that was that pipe I was supposed to grab earlier. <clears throat> Hold on, there was a pipe up here. Yo, it's just like Thief. Diagonal move. I mean, it is Thief. I don't know why I'm like, it's just like Thief. I love the. Di I love games where moving diagonally makes you go faster. And then. Yes. And then the jumping. Ah. Like, is this my. Oh, it's a lever handle. Hmm. It's a lever, Johnny Lever. And it's time for us to lever. here in the light so there's some shit in the light it's locked need to find myself a beaten stick am i allowed to come this way yes <laughs> the bold duke chair blur dead ends. Alright. That doesn't open. I haven't seen anywhere to put a lever yet. I could probably climb up. Oh, it might be right there. Alright, I have to come around behind that guy if I want to get to him. That's that. I know, I know, I know, I know. Is there a just drop item instead of throw it?
I might hit middle mouse. So like, oh, drop item is R. Is F used for anything? If it's not, then that's what I'm using. It ain't used for anything. All right. Not in a bad spot. Okay. What are you looking for? I don't have my little smacking stick. It's too early in the game. I haven't unlocked it yet. To go this way. Food I hear there. Oh, this is not. This is no bueno. Hmm. It's a tough building to get through. the public works key. It's good to know. That's good to know. Alright, where were the public works? I don't... I doubt we have a map right now. Oh, we do have a map. So we started here and we worked our way along. Should be a lucrative score in the manor over here. Probably worth a shot stop at the pawn shop. I don't know if I can get there. I think we're right here right now. So I either have to take this key and come back around this way, or we gotta like get through this building. There's a old abandoned factory over here. We could try to work our way through. This isn't going to take us anywhere. Dude, it's just nice to be playing more Thief. Holy shit. Okay, this is where we start. This is where we start. So does this key maybe open that door? Do I have anything to say to me? Oh, Garrett! Whoa. No, it's not gonna work. You gonna tell me to go away? What's to say? This passage to White Bell and South New Market is closed at night. No citizen will be admitted unless they secure a passage from the night surgeons. Okay, so I could, like, potentially get... Ah, oh, dude. There we go. I don't know why I didn't check the well. It's been like this since... Fucking 1995, dude. Where do you get the water arrows in the well where the water is? Where do you get the fire arrows? In the fire where the fire is, okay? Doesn't take a genius to figure that one out. We got that lever that we gotta figure out what to do with as well. It's gonna be down here. In these dark corners. Is this where to go? No. Trying to check each window. 
I might be able to climb up to something, which is why I keep looking up. I right, haven't really been able to climb yet. Like, what, what do I do? I can't flick these. This is malfunctioning. Felonies committed and misadventures that happen within the ward of the cell uh, or cellar master's fair, and a proclamation made against the vagrants of White Bell. Be it remembered that on uh, Seams Day, right after Mass of Saint Aaron, uh, Jerome the Coppermonger was arrested for selling one hundred and a half worth of copperware made of strange foreign metals. Joyce's wife, uh, or Joyce, wife of uh, Dalberman, shall be. Put upon the cucking stool with the twenty on the twenty seventh of Seonas for making a false charge against Marjorie Lagrange, uh, fru fruiteress, accusing her of practicing pagan sorcery and palm reading. The infamous John Hartsman was arrested and shall be uh, transferred to uh, Craigscliffe Prison for disrespect and blasphemy against the goodly father uh, Rogerus of the Hammerite Church. Rogerus is his name. That's awesome. Uh, for as much as uh, for as much as many able-bodied men and women who should be working but have betaken themselves out of White Bell into the district of Runeswick and went about begging there, to the great damage of the commons, uh, and uh, did waste various alms which would otherwise be given to many poorer folks, such as the blind, orphan, uh, orphans. Persons oppressed with old age, <laughs> oppressed with old age, and various other maladies shall hereby leave the district of Runswick between this very day and the month of uh, Vedima, on behalf of our Lord the Baron, whom the builder may preserve and bless. If any such folk should be found begging after uh, after the day aforesaid, they shall be taken and put to the pillory for half a day uh, the first time. Shall remain in the stocks a whole day the second time, and shall be take uh, and shall remain in uh, Pavelock for forty days the third time. Every layman in the district of Runswick is empowered to arrest such manner of folk. God damn. Do the following heinous crimes: poisoning the most uh, venerable Lord Phineas, uh, Grand Mauden, conspiracy against the Baron and City, uh, and uh, etc. Has been passed. Uh, the City and etc. I would I would assume it was et etc. But etc. is a person or a place. Has been passed. Uh, and the good judges of uh, Aldale have decided on the on his fate after a fair and just trial. The miscreant shall be hanged till half death at Pavelock Square Stone Market on the first hammer's day of Vindima, on the first toll of the afternoon. <laughs> afternoon. The, uh, the drawn, then drawn to St. Edgar's Plaza Stone Market and therefore quartered till death follows. His head and quarters shall be displayed on pike for fourteen days on Baron's on Baron's uh, Baron's gate as a fair warning to the city's enemies. The honest folk of our fair city are encouraged to attend this event. Thusly declared and written, Captain Pershall of the Baron's police. I'm reading the notes. Well, I'm interested. I'm reading the notes. So we don't have any way to get into smokestack lightning right here. But that's fine, that's fine. I might have to go through this guy's manor right here. I don't know what this key is. Oh, it might be for this door. Oh. <clears throat> did we go up over here? I think we did. This is when it's just so, too dark for me to actually see the path that's like, oh, there's a door or a grate here. What does this say? Just a little symbol. Clear out of here, rogue! This is no. Ah. 
Before we grab the key, he's drunk as fuck. Public workhouse key. Oh, it's because I didn't. Because I didn't swap back to it. I forgot that was a thing in here. So I have to actually do this. All right. Public works key. Not already. Already? I've been in the game for 30 minutes. We're already in the sewers. See a good way to get out of this room. Not seeing any goodies on the ground down there either. I'm trying to keep my eye out. <sighs> Somehow getting out of water in these games is always like easy. Some games struggle with like getting out of the water because this is just like a ledge detect thing. You just swim close to the ledge and hit space and it's like, oh, grab the ledge and pull yourself up and it's like, oh, thank God. Some games you just like, they make you swim out and try to like hop out and then like you don't hop high enough for some ledges or other ledges. Shit's annoying as fuck. Okay. Glad to see White Bell hasn't changed much. It's still a lair for knaves and rogues like me. I, s I gotta steal 850 bucks, so. Oh shit. I've been spotted. Hold on. That's right. I'm not allowed over there. Oh, I can relock the doors too. That's kind of nice. It's good to know. <coughs> Damn, I really want my my smack and stick. Oh, I do. Never mind. I'm, I do have my smack and stick. Who's there? D did you say something? Glad it was nothing. <laughs> I'm just a dummy. I'm I'm too modern game pill. It's been too long. It's not actually what I wanted to do there, but... <sighs> I need to steal some stuff. Nothing there to steal. I mean, it's just the kitchen. It's a tiny little carpet right here. So fucking loud. Just cheat sneaking. Let's put that down there. These aren't things to steal. Can I see around this corner? I 
Ah, oh, man. I love the tension they, they set in these games. It's very fun. I can hear him coming. This is the worst place to stand, but I'm hoping he hits this corner and turns around. <laughs> Got you, bitch. I'm gonna go dump you on the carpet so you don't wake anybody up. darkness please apparently not because there's a cabinet right here there we go who is over here there's something down at the end of this hallway I can't quite tell what it is though Scarlet leper colony found in Craftsman's Ward. The Baron's police took immediate action after uncovering a leper's den hidden in several old cellars. While the lepers were easily surrounded, one of them managed to knock out one of the officers restraining him out, uh, knock one of the officers restraining him out and escaped afterwards, said Captain Pershaw. The city's benevolent hero did not answer when uh, we asked if this was somewhat related to the Black Brook conspiracy, but he offered his, uh, this advice before returning to Aldale. Keep your eyes open for any suspicious characters that aren't revealing their faces. Let it be known that while Craftsman's Ward is under lockdown, the thoroughfares of Shalebridge are under heavy patrol and all are asked to follow the Emergentina Plague Laws. While the fleeing leap, uh, while the fleeing leper is on the run, show your face clearly at all times. Adhere to curfew. Obey the Baron's police. Don't turn to panic. Report anything suspicious to the nearest watch stations. Here's another piece of advice offered to those who live in Shalebridge from Professor uh, Wall or Wallstrand. Leprosy has its origin in uh, accumulation of bad humors. Unless the excess of humoral fluid is evacuated via bloodletting, it can cause great harm to the human body. But an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Never approach the sick without a scented mask, nor place yourself between the sick and a source of heat, as the heat attracts the unhealthy vapors. Take at least one ice-cold bath per week and eat well. Regular tricksters mustard uh, cloisters are a must. Fine. I don't know what, what the fuck is this letter here. Yourself? Yeah, why? So this is some fights that people are betting on. Not a single piece of money yet. <sighs> I should go deal with them. Can I steal this painting? Some Frank Frazetta piece on the wall. What the hell? Already in it. Jeez. I can actually hold items in my inventory. It's the only way to actually see back here. 
Dude, this is where I need a goddamn fire arrow so I can take it out so I can fucking see shit. The cobweb. Oops. Can I lock this with a servant's key? No. I was hoping I could just, like, prevent people from coming through. I think they can still break the doors down. Can't you see I'm busy here? Must have taken too much brandy. Somebody I gotta talk to? By all that is holy, who are you? Help! Go <laughs> I thought I turned this shit on. It's fine. I mean, I remember manually doing it anyway. Oh, that, did I even actually tell it to turn on? I did tell it to turn on. But that's fine if it doesn't work. Oh, that's valuable wine. Are these valuable swords? No. Another healing potion in your chest. Shit, I will basically never use. Ugh. Except right then, because it was equipped. That's one thing I do need to turn off, I think. Is the auto-equip when you pick something new up. <laughs> this is so excited. So, where are we now? That's outside. There's still more guards inside, so I'd like to... It's a sick-ass painting. Anytime you got, like, some fucking... It's like a hammerite wizard. Look at him. Fucking magic, bitch! How to cast unshit pants spell. I see this. I barely see this, but I see it. Also gotta change, I think. Attach the ladders to touch instead of jump. I might have to load the game before those settings actually like come into effect. you're here. I can't see shit, but I know you're up here.
Ah, dude, that's so good. I hold, you hold it like this. That's so good. Anything else over here? It's too fucking dark, man. Oh. We, in fact, do get some moss arrows up here. That's nice. <sighs> Else up here in the rafters now. valuable. I can walk on this pipe here and probably get somewhere. It's cool being like up this high. I think that's what I'm supposed to do is walk on that pipe to get somewhere but hmm, I'm not necessarily done in this house. It could also be that that's just it. A feature that needs to be in every fucking game. This. The amount of times you fall off an edge in a video game because you're trying to look what's below you. And you're like really trying to get close so you can angle the camera down. It's like, just let me peek over the edge, you fucking idiots. Yeah, okay, it did take into effect because I can just walk into this now, dude. Get on the ladder. Means I should auto loot. I don't think we have a ton of money. So that goes outside. Let's actually, does that go outside? Do we check already? There's somebody else downstairs. This does not go outside. That's not a valuable plate. Bullshit. Total 95, I need 850 in this level. I'm actually starting to think that's a lot more than I thought it was. Okay. Oh, this is pretty sweet. Alright, take me back down. Figure out what's downstairs and then we shall continue on. I was like, dude, I'm going back. I gotta steal some some fucking shit. Honestly, like such a fun gameplay loop is you have your main story that your character goes through, but you do just have to steal shit. It's like you gotta make money so you can buy items to do the other missions. And, like, you need to make money so your character canonically can pay for things. So, it's, like, it's so cool. I just love the gameplay loop in Thief. Or, like, how well it's, like, constructed into the narrative. Too many games will be, like, oh, you can, you can steal stuff. And it's, like, no, I like that I have to steal stuff. I like that if I don't steal stuff, I'm fucked, you know? Too many, it's like, oh, man. most esteemed merchants of Runswick South Quarter. I write this letter to all of you in order to sincerely apologize for Bailiff uh, Baudrill, Baudrillart's men's dreadful lack of commitment to the protection of our peaceful district and most of all, your livelihood. Such acts of vandalism will not go unpunished, and I take full responsibility for last night's incident. There is a reason why Runswick is South Quarter's most prosperous borough, and I intend to uphold its glorious reputation. 
Thus, I've decided, with the blessing of our good lord, Mayor, the noble Viscount Baldry, to close the gate between Runswick and Whitefall and White Bell from the eleventh toll of the bell until cocks crow, taking effect immediately. Policemen have been severely reprimanded and have received orders to sternly punish any trespasser caught during the night. I also intend to have my finest workers repair the damages White Bell vermin caused to your shops and your fine items. I uh, remain your humble servant. Okay. Vermin uh, causing damage. There was a spider upstairs. This makes me think I gotta look for like a little rat hole or something and climb through it, you know? That's not a valuable item. So this is the front door, but the front door doesn't open. I think I got the guy that was down here. I don't think he's... He's down this way. Right? Yeah, he's down this hallway over here. I think. Or maybe I was just hearing the guy above us. Dude, it's so fucking dark, man. Is this a system shock track? Mushrooms, I can finally fucking see for one. Oh, there's a ladder right here. No wonder it's trying to get me to climb up it. It's like I'm stuck on something. Ah! So this is another way to get up here, because this leads right back in. Okay. I think we're done here. I think we've we've got everything. At least that I can fucking see. God damn pitch black game. Shit. Can't see crap. <laughs> I actually fucking have to come in here. I turn the goddamn brightness up. I can't fucking see anything. I'm just bumbling around in the dark over here. Okay, there's actually a staircase right here. Would not have been able to see that. That's what we climb up to. Came out here through a window. That's this window. I'm like, we gotta find that window again. I don't think I ever used the servant's key. probably opens the front door and by the front door I mean this door which is the servants door yeah okay. nice nice all right we're back outside shit's good we got some loot we got a minuscule amount of loot. I can't go this way, because they'll get my ass if I go that way. Uh, 
How do we suppose we get up onto that balcony there, huh? Can't sneak up on this guy. Hmm. 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 Where's the next door to go through then? Like I can easily come in here. So good. Build and be praised. He has stopped. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> that could knock out a lot of people. So who finds me? This guy? Don't try to run, Tappa. Just surrender now. I don't know why. I don't know what I did to piss him off. That was your last chance. It's, it was too dark for me to see this before. A ladder in here? It's still too fucking dark, but... This looks like a ladder. Oh, it is. There we go. I was like, I can't... I have to jump to it, though. So... Fucking dark. What the hell is this stuff? What is this? It's like a little Q tip with a fucking. Like, I get what that is. I mean, and this is some. Chemistry shit. I mean, that's how you weigh crap. What the hell is this? It's like a big Q tip. There's some fancy shit on the end. Twenty six Sanones, eight thirty three. Thirty vials. Note the copper chalice is in. Ale house to forget. I saw uh, the tenant spit in my drink again. Guess the poor sod is still thinking I killed his grandmother. I am, or I'm a barber surgeon, not a damn apothecary. I can't do nothing against putrid fever. He's telling me after coming all the way up here, my guy's got nothing. Verticality to this right now. I don't have a ton of tool. Oh my god, I see what I have to do. Really? Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. <sighs> yeah. Help! There's a knave in here. Save me.
can't crouch here. <sighs> Is that a rogue I see? Guards! Is that a rogue I see? Guards! Here! Uh. Yeah. I'm waiting for the game over screen. So if you hit somebody in the head too many times with the club, you get a game over screen. Yo, that was like fucking... That was very expensive. That was a nice item to grab. That one was only 10. No, it was, it was a little more. door even open is he just he's just completely locked up here by himself that's kind of funny game over don't kill anybody like the plant falling on him got him that was cool it was a nice little secret up there i don't have to die walking on this chain anything out this window <sighs> Interesting, interesting. What a view. What a view. Hmm. I don't think I can make that. This is where I'm like, God, the wall climbing gloves from Thief 3 are like so cool. I actually really like Thief 3. I should look at some Thief 3 mods as well. I like a lot of the I like a lot of the tools that they give you in that game. Yeah, it's janky. Yeah, it's like not the best title. But it's cool. It's its own thing. Right. Hopefully this time I can actually figure out where the hell I'm trying to go. Can we get out right here? No, we can't. There is a door there. Hmm. God, it helps turn the brightness up just a tiny bit. It's like, holy cow, I can actually see some of these pathways I'm supposed to go down. I'll leave the door not there. Glad to see White Bell hasn't changed much. We have been here. It's still a lair for knaves and rogues like me. Oh well. Must do nothing. tracks like this man really heavy ambient tracks god this shit actually sounds so good I listen to this all fucking day hum of big heavy machinery circling around in the headset not quite that. Like somebody's called Doom Metal. Yeah, man. We were listening to it yesterday, but 
Doom, Doom or Drone, you know? Like, uh... That fucking track from Metroid that's just... Uh, and it's just like one note. That shit, I could listen to that all day. Drone's a bit much for you most of the time. I like Drone. I like Drone a lot. I think there's some bad, like, Drone kind of fits in that, like, state where you decide whether or not you like each track. It's like, you can't be like, this is a good Drone band. It's like, well, I like these Drone songs, you know, like, other people are going to say something different. Depends if it's done well. It can be pretty lazy. That is true. Like, Primitive Man is, like, top-notch. Primitive Man's so good. I don't even have a bow, I don't think. <clears throat> I do. Someone making noise? It's not really drone though, some of it maybe, yeah. Primitive Man's a little more I mean it's it's drone, but it's a little more death. All the best drone is a mix of like five subgenres. What's up, Lemur? you're having a good day. Give me some black and funeral drone sludge. Alright, let's go. How many adjectives can you just add to it? down here. <sighs> Alright, he's good there. Oh, there's a guy right fucking here. No wonder I got spotted earlier. I didn't realize there was a window right here. <sighs> Keep... I'm, I'm just gonna take a second to get back used to what is this game about? It is a stealth game. You just start making shit up and you won't know the difference. This guy's alone. Yeah. Alright, this is a fan mod for Thief yet. Yeah. Was that supposed to hurt? Did he really? Did I fucking bounce off the top of the door? Really? It's like a 1995 game or something. When did Thief come out originally? The shit's before System Shock, right? 98? Same year? I was just seeing if it still did the zoom in. Get this guy. I got him this time. He doesn't stand a chance. He's just asleep in bed. 
dead. I hope I've been auto looting these guys. I have not. That guy had a key on him. So the auto looting does not work. I do have to make sure I'm being good about that. It did say somewhere in like the modding thing that the auto looting in Thief 1 did not work even with the option enabled. Uh, I think System Shock 2 was 99 because the Thief 2 used the engine again, right? Or was it the other way around? Oh, it's both. System Shock 2 upgraded the Thief engine, and then Thief 2 upgraded that one. All right. Old games, regardless. But also some of the best games ever made. I, Looking Glass Studio, man. Ugh. Ion Storm and Looking Glass Studio making some of the greatest games of all fucking time. Am I right? I still haven't played De Deus Ex 2, so that Ion Storm still seems good to me, you know. any thieves tools in this I don't have my like lock picking set I don't believe that's because you never played Dai Katana okay but I know the story behind Dai Katana Romero did not in fact make anyone his bitch <laughs> Daikatana's, like, development's all fucked up. Attention, men! A lockdown is now in effect. In the neighboring district of White Bell, passage to White Bell and New Market through the gate is prohibited after the 11th toll of the bell. Feel free to beat any trespassers. We are way behind our quotas, and the bailiff is starting to get impatient. Beat more people. I love how much that it aged like milk. It truly shows that... It that argument that's like, man, I wish games were like they used to be, doesn't hold up. It's like, oh, you wish games were like Die Katana? Wanna come to the fair tomorrow? I know nope. they are. I'm gonna bring my son to the hangings. Should toughen him up some. Oh, ain't going there. You'll wanna find my son at the end of a sword that's not mine. Uh, I'll see you later at the house. I have a feeling I'm gonna get. Say, have you seen Alan tonight? I heard he's patrolling the sewers. Seen Alan tonight? He's patrolling the sewers. Since people only remember a couple dozen good games and collectively forget the thousands of dog shit ones that barely saw the light of day to begin with. Yes. It's exactly the same thing as movies and any other art or media. Man, why weren't movies like the, Why don't they make movies like they used to? It's like, they still do here and there. Just like they used to here and there. But you only remember the really good ones. There's some really bad 40s movies. There's some really bad 50s movies. You gotta start showing people Planet of the Vampire and being like, this is what you have to look forward to. If you start going down the rabbit hole... It starts getting a little fun. <laughs> Most of them, obviously. I got. I still have to watch them. It's not like they only released five movies a year. Then, it, yeah, it's not like it, it's not like Casablanca and Citizen Kane are the only fucking forties movies. You know, there's some. It's the same deluge of shit. You, know? you wouldn't believe what I saw just then. A small group of people is making a racket under the gate from Runswick to Newmarket. We should really find a name. We descended to investigate. 
Normally we beat these guys who try to get into, the, uh, into White Belt, but these people were hammers, and they were really well armed, which is weird. They even had a preacher with them, you know? These lunatics with light rod, you know, these lunatics with light rods? They explained they were going to smite the heathens and blah, blah, blah. Where do they think that, where do they think they are? If White Bell isn't the central arse of the city, I don't know what is. And no amount of hammers will change that. <sighs> I love the fucking drone in here, man. You do this thing in uh, a dark crystal. The Dark Crystal's really good. You're more of a Labyrinth man, though. The Labyrinth is really fun, too. Both of those movies are great. Did you ever watch the series? The the Dark Crystal, like, uh... There's, like, two seasons of it. It was, like, a Netflix original or something. Nah. I enjoyed that. That was good. It just like sets up a huge uh, cliffhanger and then it got canceled, even though it won a bunch of awards for being one of the best shows. And it really is like a fantastic fucking show, but it sets up like a bunch of shit for the movie. Cause it's like the, it's like the years before the movie happened. And then uh, it just, uh, it just ends. Which I guess is kind of nice, because it still leaves you in the dark about, like, what really happened. We'll turn that off. Where are we right now? up in here. So? <sighs> was that you? <sighs> I know he's gonna walk by again. This is the perfect place to just fucking <laughs> reach out and slap him. Okay, it's gonna take too long for him to come back. I do think that having um, like a stalker low crouch or like the prone of some of the other games would be fun. I'm a big uh, I'm a big prone or low crouch person. In some of these. It's just fun to, like, get really low down and creep underneath the table. And come up on some guy's heels. <clears throat> just what, bitch? About to join the night-night club. Hope to uh -oh. Members only. Thing on you. This doesn't look like he's got anything on you. I haven't found where to use the broken lever or the um <sighs> or the uh oh there's a chest right there. That door handle. An elevator? Three hundred bucks. Another doorknob. It's my second doorknob. Over there. Stand forth and declare yourself. Stand 
and forth and deliver. Fuck, dude, I gotta play some Kingdom Come. I should just never play anything but Thief, man. This game's so good. I'm always being like, why aren't games more like Thief and Stalker? And then I don't play enough Thief and Stalker. <laughs> yeah. No idea what happened in the story, but it was entertaining. I'll, I'll give you that. <sighs> the Gelflings. This will turn that. I think this is connected to a light lower down as well. Or they're just teaching me what a light switch does. <sighs> so that's where we came in originally. <sighs> I don't think I've actually gone this way yet. I haven't checked what's past this door. What's mm. the barber shop? Staircase up. This takes me into a little courtyard. I don't need to go that way yet. I that's the, probably the right way to go. More arrows. Fucking options. Gameplay auto equip turn fucking off. Save the game. Do not want to so, hunt. How is your sister doing? I don't have a sister, you git. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we play a game of dice after the shift? <coughs> Tarkov Jiggle Peak. Friend or foe. Oh, God, hold on. I gotta get actually in dark. You can't really lean back and forth too quickly, but you can, like. I know he's coming back. Saw the farce it's become. Tickets are too expensive. Taffing thieves, I swear. Tapping thieves, I swear. They're price hiking tickets. This is not a good idea, but it's gonna happen.
gamers will never know the beauty of quick save being alt S. Oh, you want a quick save? Boom, done. Oh, you want to go? Done. You want it? Done. <laughs> there was another game that I think quick save was right click. I can't remember what it was. I was like, dude, that's awesome. <clears throat> trying to remember what it, the fuck it was. The fuck right click? Yeah, I could have sworn there was a game that had quick save on right click that I played recently. I was like, it wasn't mouse driven. But you could just right click the quick save. I can't remember. What the fuck was it? I think I got another incursion from White Bell last night. Maybe I'm crazy. I remember it being a, sh a shitty easy button like that. Oh, it wasn't right click. It was, um... Was it just F? As quick sa It was Baldur's Gate 1. It was the first Baldur's Gate. It literally had like... It was like F or Q was quick save. It was Q. Q was quick save. You just fucking boom. There it was. Not Alt Q, not anything. It was just like literally the most standard button on the keyboard. It, it couldn't have been more standard unless it was fucking W. You know? Uh, I got another incursion from White Belt last night. A box man was trying to... Yeah, Q and L in Baldur's Gate. Yeah, that shit was awesome, man. Oh, I want to... Quick save. Quick save. Quick save. I mean, it's mainly because there's not a lot of controls in it, so you could just, like, make those keys whatever you needed them. Um, Boxer was trying to pick uh, Messer Cattle Cattermole's door, so I gave him a chase, and he ended up falling to his death through a derelict flight of stairs. Judging by his foul odor, he may have uh, taken the sewer route. Uh, I think sending Salmon and Waylon to investigate would be wise, and someone should remind these dense grease hand... Uh, remind this dense grease hand that his job is to stay in these sewers and not to spend his nights drinking at the tavern by the court maybe we should send a letter to the quill pushers of the public works on the matter bottom line is we can't have white bell vermin breaking into runswick like that especially with the lockdown and bailiff's orders now here's the strange thing he was carrying flash bombs and good lock picks what kind of material is, uh, that kind of material is way too expensive for White Bell Gallo Bait. The lockpicks are broken beyond repair, but the flash bombs are still in shape. I put the corpse under the stairs in the courtyard if you want to investigate. I'm keeping the flash bombs for myself. I always wanted to have some of these anyway. One last thing. The lieutenant doesn't need to know about this. All he's going to do is throw a tantrum like a child and double over. Uh, or double our already doubled watch hours. I have enough of that, so you better keep your mouth shut, Sergeant Flannery. Thanks for the flash bomb, bitch. I love that you could just surprise the shit out of people. That's why Hitman's so good. Like when you pop when you pop up out around the corner in Hitman and you're somewhere you're not supposed to be and you're walking at somebody with a fire hydrant in your hands and then you somebody sees you, they're like, Oh no 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 like they know you're about to like beat their ass before they call for help. They're they're freaking out. I love that shit. It's so funny. Practice dummy. These weighted dice. I doubt it. Anything of value in here? Are these all doors without handles? 
that I need to put handles on. It's too dark to actually see. And my character doesn't go like, ugh, when I try to open it. He doesn't go, ugh, ugh. <sighs> Dude, there's stuff up there. Seventy-six. Now I'm thinking to myself, it's annoying that it doesn't pop up and show me the gold, so I might actually turn the other thing back on. It is annoying to tab back off of it, but... Guess Elroy isn't exactly what you call a smart chap. You've helped me without asking questions, so I'll reveal my little secret. I've been stealing his wages for months now. As a prank. And I cannot contain my laughter anymore. When he looks at me and says, I wonder where my money is gone. By the trickster. Surely my wages cannot vanish just like that. It's almost the end of the month, so we'll do our usual routine. I'm not sure when and how this is going to end, but this is way too funny. Your friend, Blars. It's been, this is not funny. This man is like struggling to live, but doesn't want to talk about his problems. Because he's like, you know, I gotta, you know, I can make it through life without burdening others. Um, and it's really just his friend making him live like shit, stealing his money. I mean, he's not spending it, but... Same. He's just like me for real! He's, he's romanticizing his melancholic solitude! Just sit here all fucking this is a soundtrack to my life it's just this drone um. he's just like <sighs> me all right i see what has to be done I don't think I was done over there. Well, that's that leads downstairs. Dude, this map is huge, man. What the fuck? Hold on. Yeah, but you're down on the street. Come out here! I'm dead. Oh, no. -uh. Not how you're supposed to do this, but also like it's the only way to get across without making. Oh, this is stone. I saw the metal walls, and I was like, it's gonna plunk, plunk, plunk. <clears throat> Come out, you! I heard that. I had to move the as boxes. As soon as I find you, you're dead. I had to move the boxes out of the way so I can hide in the dark. They're not gonna find me. It's fine. We'll just sit here and chat a little bit and think Wah! about. Wah! Come back out here, you taffer. So I've been thinking about what I want to do in Dwarf Fortress. You know, right? I want to capture that forgotten beast. I think that'd be fun. But I don't know how to capture that forgotten beast. I, I have an idea for how to do it, which is create a, a room for him and then mine out like a wall or, or like on, mine no, out a wall on. and replace it with a door and then lock the door. I We got to be quick with that because he might just come running in. And then um, 
Or like set up a barrier. I, mean, I can see how I could set up another barrier. They can break doors? Okay. So is there a way to move a block? Is there a way to make like a Minecraft piston? Like put a block in place and take it out and put a block in place and take it out? Like a floodgate? Can I, can I open and close floodgates and he couldn't, uh, he couldn't break them? Because I'm like, I kind of want to capture the Forgotten Beast. I don't know what I want to do with it. It's got venom. I might be able to milk it for venom and then make like venom tipped arrows or start exporting venom. And You can cage trap a lot of them. It's really big. I could really cage trap it. I might need a lot of cage traps because it's probably going to dance over the top of them and not get caught. That makes me scared because there's a door that's on the side that it could be that's forbidden, but it hasn't come up and tried to break it down or anything. Actually, I guess it's on the other side, and he might not be able to get over there from the kit, so we're probably okay. He did leave and go about some really... He's out in the wilderness somewhere. I haven't seen him in a while, but... They're building destroyers so they can smash basically anything, not walls. <sighs> boring, boring, boring. So, could I make... Hmm. I'm like, could I make like a pit and trick it into falling into a pit? It all depends on the beasts. That is true. Some, some like it's a little, it's a big scorpion. So I guess I need to look at it some more. But it ran off screen as soon as it showed up. So it's like out there somewhere. I still gotta find it. Do not believe it can fly now. It didn't have any wings or anything. What was it made out of? I don't know. It it was only there for a little I could probably roll it back and look exactly what it was made out of, but some venomous scorpion is all I know and remember about it. it ran off too quickly. And I haven't seen it since, so. But I definitely looked at its description tag for a second. So there's somewhere back there in the VOD. Not that... Yeah, inspect it a bit more closely before you make plants. It's a good idea. We're kind of just waiting for the next Forgotten Beast, I guess, to show up. are there's a finite number oh dude that's really cool it's i didn't know it was a finite amount did i break the box I did. Hoping there'd be something up here.
Well, I think that's unlikely on your map, yeah. My my thing is a little too easy or something. I just want default world gen and stuff, so. Next time I generate a world, I'll have you guys help me pick through like the best way to do it. Or make some, I mean, we could always generate a world and see that if it sucks or not and then regen one, but I just went with the first one because I was like, boom, I just want to get in learn to start playing the game and we're learning i know how to like put walls down and set up offices and shit again and um now it's like i need a goal to do i need something to do i'm training war gorillas which is fun but i gotta figure out where to send them or what to do it'll take maybe a year or two for the population of gorillas to get high enough to actually do crap with it so i need to find something to do in the meantime which, well, that's what I was thinking about capturing the Forgotten Beast. It'd be fun. And here I thought my transfer to South Quarter would be sweet and painless. Of all the men I've worked with, the bunch of slobs I'm commanding here are the worst of the worst. All they do is drink all night long when they're supposed to be on duty. A few really angry guys from White Bell came to Runswick and started messing things up while they were playing cards. And the good-for-nothing bailiff blamed it on me. They also have the nerve to tell me that they uh, categorically refuse to climb the station's wooden staircase because it uh, looks uneven and dangerous. Lazy cretins. It's true these stairs have seen better days, but they took no, uh, they, they look fine to me. I wish I could return to down lockdown, uh, down lock now that, now the peeps we both command, uh, commanded were a sharp bunch. He's like, these guys fucking suck, man. Little tiny drinks. Smoke bombs. A note about smoke bombs. Sir, I found the smoking uh, the smoking bombs I told you about. As I said to you last time, they're damn good for crowd control. Throw one of these bad boys in a group of plebs, and they'll uh, and they'll all be gasping for air in no time. In addition to being slowed down quite, uh, in addition to being slowed down quite a lot. Now my brother Patrick also told me that he uses them sometimes to get rid of all the taffing uh, spiders, rats, and uh, sweels he has in his house. I told him a hundred times to clean his place, but he's too lazy for that, dude. It works on spiders and rats. Anyhow, uh, show these to the bailiff, and hopefully he'll let you have uh, some fun next time those brigands from White Bell try their luck uh, on our turf. Nigel. It's where the doggy sleeps. Some texture that's... Oh, that's the tapestry I broke. I was like, what is this? Why does that sound like a monster? This is a different tower. Why I'm coming down it. I should check what's left up there, but I like having my retreat covered. What's going on over here? Some boxes, like a broken coffin thing. finish up here come back now looks like a little shortcut we opened up that's like from the street up to this tower so that's nice i love like this is why gloomwood's so good because gloomwood has taken like this and added a slightly different formula to it and one uh, one thing that i loved 
in the game Prey, which I haven't seen in any of these games that have tried to imitate stuff, is the ability to, like, push buttons from a distance. You're like, oh, there's a light switch over there. Let me take out my one item that can hit light switches from over here. And you got to shoot, like, the little foam dart at the light switch to turn it on or off. I'm like, that's, that's kind of cool. That's, like, its own version of the water arrow, but it's, like, the turn on, turn off button or hit computer screens. And I like that. I think that's very cool. A lot of the aesthetic in these games, though, like, prevent like buttons from existing so it's like how would you get that to, to work i love the bolt caster the bolt caster was like the best part of the game okay it wasn't i like the glue gun as well there were a lot of really good guns what the ah! Oh, dude, you can just walk up to these and pull the thing aside. That's cool. That's new. Bailiff. By my count, this is the second missive you have received requesting that my men are granted access to the battlements of Runeswick, and the first from my estate that was needed, uh, that has needed such a follow-up. Each steward of the six sections who my underlings approached hitherto understood their position as facilitators, not bulwarks. I'm not accustomed to consulting the lay authority for favors myself. I have more to call upon than I can than I uh, can count for sure. But this, but it is rare that my needs are not known and met in advance. See that I receive permission before the next moon, and you will not dread the next visit you receive, the next, yeah, visit you receive from Commissioner Morton. Prey was really good. I gotta replay through Prey. I, I didn't like Moon Crasher as much, but I was also just being really salty when I was playing it, so... Every once in a while, I get really agitated, and then it's like I'm stuck with it for like a month, and I can't figure out why, and then it goes away. Some games I'm always like fucking bitching at so much, and it's like just chill, man. Uh, even though I'm relatively new to this position, you will learn that I'm not uh, one to be trifled with, and incidents such as this one that happened last night are utterly unacceptable. I ignore how my uh, predecessor, uh, I ignore how my predecessor used to run things, but I can assure you that your men's laziness will not be tolerated any longer. I don't care if White Bell mercenaries don't do their job, preventing scum coming from this blasted layer of crime and debauchery from entering Runswick is yours especially when they are all riled up and looking for faces to smash. You should consider yourself lucky, for the on for only a few shops and houses were uh, vandalized by the rioters, but from now on, you have no margin of error. Consider this your first and final warning. Luther Porden Esquire. Yeah, once- I know, like, I get so, like, salty tunnel vision. Where I, like, I get upset, and then I, it's like, oh, okay. Because I got upset at one thing, I can no longer do anything in the game that, like, would make me unupset. It's like, why doesn't this do this? It's like, it does. You just gotta fucking read the menus, you fucking dumbass. Pissed at, like, not knowing where to go or what to do, and it's like, oh, come on, man. It's just chill. It's It says right fucking there. There was something about, uh... God damn it, dude. I've, there's too many buttons to hit in this. It's tab that I have to do to put that away. I've drank all my health potions at full health on accident. Not like I need them, but whatever. Oh 
Oh my god, there's so much to read. Uh, spearheaded by a desire to uh, modernize day ports, districts, and wards, and also to showcase the city's grandeur to foreign sailors and merchants navigating on the Elm Ocean. The Baron's Great Project is one of uh, proportions never seen before. Indeed, the Baron and his architects aim to demolish more than half of Dayport's narrow streets and serpentine alleyways to replace them with vast avenues, one of which, the Baron's Way, will run east to west and will continue all the way to Whitebridge and downtown. Willing to give Dayport a brand new aesthetic, the Baron has solicited the services of renowned uh, Bonian architects, uh, Volodymyr, uh, Stepanov, and Fidir Sol, uh, Solovy, uh, while a small portion of the city's council voted against. Most were ecstatic at the prospect of these grand renovations. Your humble servant will follow this project with great attention and report to his best, uh, to the best of her ability. More on page eight. Page eight. Attacks continue along uh, Hag Hill Forest with uh, most of the Baron's forces out on the battlefield and his police only present in the city and the neighboring vassal towns and villages. Many of the roads running across the heartland fall prey to the highwaymen and other knaves looking for easy plunder. Hag Hill Forest has become a fertile ground for these criminals and many merchants and travelers have been attacked these past two months. The situation has become so alarming that hammer eye patrols along the roads have been reinforced Threefold. This pre uh, or this prestigious paper advises its dear readers to avoid the roads crossing Hag Hill Forest and to travel along the coast instead. More on page sixteen. <sighs> Is there nothing I can get to out here? I might be able to go from this eagle to that eagle to then over there and drop down on that that roof again. And then I wouldn't have to go around. Crouch. I love the fucking death noises. What's around this way? <sighs> See, we could do it. Oh, so you don't even need to. You don't even need to. Oh, dude! It's like Super Mario Odyssey, dude. They're like, well, well, if you want to fuck around and do it, there's stuff over there, I guess. Thank you. It's just nice because... I get it. Like, Thief 1 and 2 were, like, pushing the limit of the engine. But look at this. Thief 1 and 2 wouldn't have, like, this level of verticality and detail in a, in a map. Like, that's nuts. <coughs> We're at, like, this is still level one. I have a couple keys, so... None of my keys Did work. Shadow move? Come back here and fight! Fuck <sighs> off. Hey, back here. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I just know as well. Look at that. There's probably something up there too. 
Um, I just know as well that they're hitting you with the fucking, like, easiest level right up the bat. <sighs> so even though this shit looks insane. Got an X on the door. I haven't read a note that tells me, tells me what to do in a situation like that. I do like that I can do this. Guard go. You go to raise an alarm. <sighs> what was that? It seems peaceful enough now. I think I can climb up that pipe to get up here. There were a lot. There was a lot of pipe climbing in Thief Three, which was cool, like along the. Big yellow X's. Something's gonna be done in there. I swear somebody's coming. <laughs> uh, that's good. money do we have? I need 850, we have 500. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. We still got a little bit more to go. You're not gonna come up and around this corner? <laughs> Fuck. He doesn't have anything on him. All right, we're pulling the we're pulling the Dark Souls 2 strat. I can't ding dong ditch him. Damn. That would have been sweet, wouldn't it? I know you know I'm thinking about Santa Claus on my ass down the chimney. It's Christmas. What a better way to spend Christmas than playing Thief, though. I mean, I mean, it's not Christmas Day, but... Has Hanukkah started? Was that the 12th? Someone should really do something about these awful street thieves. You mean the children? Of course I mean the children. They steal everything they see. Just this morning, one of them robbed me. And the lawmen did nothing. Bunch of tappers. They never do their job correctly. Right there. You killed him. Stay right there. Your dog meat. God damn it. The 
floatiness. This guy's still right here. Guess I'll wait right here for him. I should have quick saved afterwards. I was gonna jump on this plant and then jump up here, and try to move. All right, and I can almost guarantee you because this is just because of doing that little jump on the roof up there as well and finding loot, being made by fans and veterans of the series, they totally have some janky ass hidden jumps and secrets around like corners and on rooftops you're like i don't think i can make that jump and it's like you can make that jump dude they're like oh we know that you can walk on chains now so you're like oh shit what's over there and then you're like well could i get up here by doing like something like this and they're like guess what bitch that took half my health i need a loaf of bread Apples. The stairs are the worst <sighs> part. Sliding down them. It's an empty room. So some at some point a guy comes and stands right here. I'm in bed. How about you? How about you? Take that. Scared, are we? These awful street thieves. You That's mean the children? Of course, I mean the children. They steal <clears throat> everything they see. Over oh, here, just he has a sword. Them, Help! <laughs> I love this game. Ah, beef so well. All right, so that's that guy. to fucking leave the goddamn window open. Alright, new location. What do we got in here? Goodies to steal? There's a wood floor. It doesn't look like a wood floor. Mr. Sherburn. I've received... Mr. Sherbert. I've received your complaint. You accuse me of cutting my liquors with seawater, but I assure you it is in fact only pure and fresh water I take from the well every morning. Please gaze at the extent of my efforts. I only want my the best for my clientele. However, such rumors could be could very well be the end of a, of small shops like mine, and this is why I offer you this little gift in exchange for your silence. Please accept this modest present. It represents my most sincere apologies. A 12-year-old uh, bottle of creme brulee, uh, directly from my personal cellar. Rest assured that it uh, that this one uh, here isn't cut with water. A gin cellar. Occasional sommelier. one of those doors that I need a handle for. I can't tell if I'm running into doors that I can't open or there are a bunch of doors I need to bring handles to. Hope it's not finished now. Overpriced food. Overpriced. 
Overpriced boots. Overpriced. <laughs> New key, new key. You're gonna get to the end of the level and it's gonna be like, this is where you put the lever. More droning. A pox upon these farmers. The flower costs twice its usual price now. Desperate times, desperate measures. You know how Fat Vero is still in business despite his wine being the most repugnant stuff you've ever tasted? That sneaky taffer asked the Glassmaker Guild to deliver him bottles with a bounced bottom, so he can keep a little for uh, he can keep a little for more. We should do something like that too. Instead of uh, buying cheaper flour, methinks we should add something to the dough so we can keep a little for more bread. Not gra not gravel through the last do uh, door who did this. Uh, not gravel, though. The last door who did this got burned alive in his own oven by an angry mob. He put gravel in the... That's great. What do you think of adding roots and straw? We'll discuss it in the morning when I come back from my brother's place. Well, I stole your bread. And I'll eat it, too. It's the image of uh, the hacker from uh, System Shock 2, and they're trying to offer him implants and stuff, and he's like, no, and he's like eating the candy bars and like the other, like the chips and snacks that you find. It's like, I don't need healing items. I get the fucking, the snacks, like a smoke cigarettes, whatever. Is this a bag? It is. Oh, I was like, they're not gonna leave me high and dry here. There's gonna be some little bag of cash. Bread makers. Somebody was over here. I did hear somebody over here earlier. I do like as well in Thief 3 being able to shimmy up against the wall, but it it didn't have a this button. It didn't have like a peek out around the corner or like tilt your head to see out around. You could lean and stuff like normal in Thief 3, but if you had your back to the wall, you would just stop here. Like you were shimmying along the wall. And it's like all I wanted was to do this and have my character's head turn and lean around while I was still against the wall. So I could like peek in through a window or something, just like looking in. Uh -huh. What's in there? Thief 3 is one of those weird ones where it, it tries to add like some more controls to uh, stealth, but then it doesn't add enough. So it, even though it feels clunky because there's a lot of controls, it's even more clunky because there's like, ah, oh, well this, even though you can do this, you can't really do that. God, I gotta read the Thief's letter. I thought it was just gonna be a... Uh, Schwab be helpful for once and buy us some meat. Nothing too expensive. We ain't rich. Something like chitterlings or better, a slink. I just can't eat another spone or, uh, from fromental. Uh, better be careful, though. I think Jeb ratted us to the watchdogs. Rupert ended up in the stocks yesterday. I hidden a frizzle, uh, a fizzle arrow in a gutter, or er, in a gutter in Dooleg if bad things happen. A fizzle arrow? A fire arrow, probably. This doesn't open. This looks like something that would open, you know. <gasps> this looks like a 
classic. <sighs> so there's something up there. This is when I'm like exploring and trying to find this shit and oh, look at that. This is hard to see. What building is this? There's probably going to be doors you can't open and you got to smash with a hammer. Valve. Get ourselves a carrot. You know, more, more cash. Always like that. Gillip. Someone told me you were looking for some muscle to pummel some faces at an orphanage. Very bad idea, my friend. Very bad idea. The guy who owns this place, he's got his greasy fingers in every pie in Newmarket. Word is, he even has some connections with the wardens. Think about it, man. Losing your purse to some damn pickpocket isn't that bad. Just forget about it. I'll pay you, uh, I'll pay you a drink at the tavern tomorrow if you want. Besides, Cooler Stooges came in early this morning to ask me if I saw any suspicious guys loitering about. Well, I told them, aside from the usual beggar uh, regurgitating his un or his nappy ale through his teeth right in front of my windows, and the smelly peddler I paid you to keep out of my street, nothing out of the ordinary. What a bunch of useless taffers. Taffer! I smell you, Taffer! What about the thief's key, huh? Oh, it's the tenant's key. Was that the key? I thought I used this already. I guess I didn't. So what the fuck is this? It's got a, a place in the corner circle. And it's like, there's a hidden passage somewhere. There's an X here, and you come in, and you go that way or something. It connects these two spots. I don't know where that is that they're talking. You can check that without being really noisy. Well, somebody's really trying to, you know, take a shit. Let's listen to the Constipation Blues. The only blues song about real pain. like something moved when I yeah this fucking statue there's a window down 
in there. That's right. Hey, what was that? Some guy trudging around. Another handleless door. the way down. Is it this way? New items. New stuff. Door with the yellow X on it. Still don't quite get what I'm supposed to do there, but that's fine. Still need more money as well. something about these awful street thieves. You mean the children? Of course I mean the children. They steal everything they see. Just this morning, one of them robbed me. And the lawmen did nothing. Bunch of taffers. They never do their job correctly. Touch that, I'm gonna take some damage, I think. Maybe not. Maybe I do have to take damage. <gasps> Can't go into there. Where the hell are we now? That doesn't sound great. Sounds like somebody coughing in the sewers. Dude, that's really cool. I like all this, uh, like, world building. High voltage. get rid of these guys on the street, but um, I just keep ending up getting pushed back up into the uh, upper spot because they're in a bad spot when I try to go down. Over there! Stand forth and declare yourself!
I hide in the bathroom. You won't find me in here. Come out and fight me! Wedge myself in the door. They can't get me if I uh, hold the door closed. It only opens inward. Who's in there? It tries to open the door. I'm pooping. Okay. But you better not be the guy I saw slinking around. I'm not. I'm just really gonna poop. Right over here. What the hell? Hmm. Okay. There's a new spot. There's a new spot. Some doors here I haven't been in. See what we got. Oh, I haven't used the gatehouse key. It's one of the keys I haven't used yet. <coughs> Is it on my map? We do. Sh we should try to get to the pawn shop. The gatehouse is likely to be heavily guarded. I think... Okay, so where are we? We came through here. Oh, we're on Puggard Street. Right here. We've just gone up this way. We're like right here. And we need to work our way. This is the orphanage. Maybe down into here. So all we've done is come to here. And I still have all this to do. <laughs> and shit to go back to. Seems peaceful enough now. I'm trying to stand somewhere where the flickering light isn't changing my... Squeaking, I thought it was a big squeaky door. It's a handleless door. That looks like a handleless door. That looks like a door that's like, hey, I'm missing a handle. And you know they're giving me these boxes because I'm going to need to stack them up to get somewhere, eh? Is this a point of no return? Oh, it looks like I can get back from here. The music definitely would have me believe otherwise.
We have another guard that patrols around. Over there. Classic. The leaping air strike. <clears throat> Sleeping on his bed. He's sleeping on the job. Somebody's in the sewers. We gotta get to the sewers. It's just a bricked off wall there. Hmm. Gotta make some food. It's already 10 o'clock. So what's up here? Was that this guy? Heard me coming from a mile away. Fuck. <laughs> I'm like, he doesn't know, he doesn't know. God, he knows. That guy's gonna be so hard to get. He was looking the other way, so I was like, we got it. We're fine. I know I came from the right over here, but, you know, I'm I'm interested. It's new to me. I want to see everything. Mm, what other tools do we have? guy saw me with the bow, unfortunately. There is stuff up to the left there I want to get to, but I gotta get this guy out of the way. get snitches get stitches dude I didn't write the rules but I'm here to enforce them I know there's another guy around here too go into the gin seller's uh, establishment? I should go in there. I don't think I did. What do I see there? I also didn't find the alcohol that he sent to that guy. He said, oh, here's a bottle of my finest shit. You know, not watered down. Six hundred bucks. Nice. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Probably gonna get spotted. items? No. I 
never had to check this guy. Any items? I need keys. I need certain things. I don't know how that one dude didn't see us, but uh, I'll take it. Can't take your hammer? That's fine. Get him out of here. And there was stuff up here to look at. There's so much stuff to look at. Oh, I can't climb through that window. And I can't climb through that window. The bars are in the way. I don't see anything in there of value, though, so it's probably fine. Is there a shovel and manure over here? Just wait till we start dealing with the guards that have torches. Like Thief 3. I'm sick of eating old fermenter <coughs> and dry pumpernickel every day. Pumpernickel? I don't even have a nickel. Do you maybe like Pumper Benny? Ooh. Forgive me if I say poppycock. Then say it. Poppycock. <sighs> So good. items on people. Oh, I got a steeze. Feel it coming on. I was going to be like, when I finish this level, I'll get some food. I'm like, I don't think we're finishing the level today. I think I'm going to play it for another, like, couple, couple hours, and then we're still going to have more to do. He's up there on the battlements, so I don't think it matters, but I did walk too far away. I want to see what that note says. The inhabitants of the district of White Bell are earnestly advised not to drink any waters from the fountains or the wa or the wells, which have not been previously boiled. Meanwhile, the guy's just pouring it into his uh, fresh well water into his uh, his drinks. Let it be known that on the 24th of Sayonis, uh, uh, a new tax on cured meats, garum, and ship biscuits will be in order. Cured meat shall now cost 6S, six, uh, 6 silver, garum 5D, uh, a flask, and a ship biscuit 5D per bunch. Taxing food. above me I believe there might be somebody back that side oh my god there's so much like I think I've come this way I haven't I don't think I've gotten to the pawn shop 
I think I just... I don't know where I am right now. I need a, I need a landmark. Dang. I am playing this thief mod. And I'm trying to figure out how to get to the pawn shop. And I need, this is a three cherries. Three cherries, is that something? Is that the tenements? I think we're in front of the tenements. I think we've gone this way. We came through this Huggard Street. I didn't go this way. I came this way instead. This is that little under like the inside the ground spot where I knocked that guy out. We've come up this way. I might have I might be looking this way right now instead of coming down. This is the downlock gate. I might be I might be right here. That's a ladder. Hold on. Yes. I just have passed it. This is north. West. And that's... West. Pawn shop's west. Well, the pawn shop's west, but I'm already over here. So the pawn shop's to my south is to the south of me, I believe. So I think the pawn shop is actually that's down lock. This is down lock gate. So the pawn shop is this building right here that that guy's patrolling on. Okay, that's good to know. Let's, let's get in here. Oh, this guy's gonna beat my ass. Nice love pack, Taffer. That was, for it. that was a love tap, Taffer. That's what he fucking said. He doesn't know where I am. Oh, he can't. Got you now. Oh, he's gonna get my ass. All right, all right, let's load that. the gatehouse key this is kind of the gatehouse it's probably the pawn shop key god damn it you can only go forward with the with the menuing here you don't click like previous item or anything I do want to get onto the roof. I, that ladder is interesting. Sir? Was that you? Nothing here now. <coughs> Thought I saw something. Slide him around the corner. <clears throat> Not the best place to put him, but it'll do. It'll do. <gasps> Fucking sewers again, huh? That's how it's gonna be, uh. This is the pawn shop. What the hell's that noise? Hmm. 
thought I saw something. Nice. I probably wouldn't even found this shit back here. Pawnbroker's key. Three tapestries, one eaten by moths, and another tainted with a strange liquid. T warbler. Small armchair made of oak. Uh, R. Cordes. Twelve vials badly cleaned. Uh, Harnan. Map of uh, Tutacum's tomb. Never heard of it. Pair of earrings that got stolen from somebody. Just very ears. <laughs> they stole the ear. This is some Garrett thing. I do not remember stealing earrings off somebody, but. Well, that's the first skull I've found. Hey, look, we finally got enough money. <sighs> you gotta check the toilets for fucking gold every time, okay? There might be like a pilsner down there or something you can you can steal. Where do I want a beer? A toilet beer? I don't know. Okay, so that was that. Bounce out of here. We finally have money. But somebody said he hid an arrow somewhere over here. And I wonder what the pawn key is for. Is that going to be for this, uh, the pawn broker's key is going to be for this thing down here? for this. Even more goodies. Alright. 997 bucks. There's easily like doubled. We're gonna find like 1600 in this place total. No way we uh, don't. Boom. I was like, the only way they're letting me look in here is if there's loot to grab. <sighs> right, let's climb up this ladder. Should quick save when we get to the top. <sighs> Ooh, there's a whole fucking gem I could just grab right there. I don't think that's a jump you can make. <laughs> oh, I love death noises in video games. This shit's so funny. Oh, it did get us a diamond to come up here. It's fucking thief ladders all over again, man. <laughs> fucking damn it. It's like impossible to make it down a ladder in this game. Fucking hell. The amount of times I've died to just trying to climb down ladders in this game. Oh god, they, they purposely did it. They purpose they, they they knew this was gonna happen, so they gave us a little ladder right there to try and help us. And even then, it is fucking impossible because it's thief ladders. Oh, fucking hell, man. Goddamn thief ladders.
More pain and suffering has been caused by these things than anything else. Maybe build engine doors. I don't know. <sighs> oh god, there's a hammer right there. Hammers and white bell? Just my luck. Who thought I saw? Brother, hast thou seen my prayer book, perchance? Hast thou seen my prayer book, by chance? But the wind on the torches. <clears throat> you have anything important on you? No, no? All right, all right. I still have that to do over there. I don't know what the main... Okay, what's my main opinion? So White Bell, find your old associate, Dalquist. He apparently runs an orphanage. Okay, so I do have to go to the orphanage. That's, that's our main quest. So this is a side area, then we're gonna go check it out. Fucking rope arrow central. Vandal vandalizing things. That's the way to do best. That oh, doesn't look like a good way to go then. Alright. Who thought I saw? All is silence now. <clears throat> Sneak attack. <sighs> that shit is just too funny to me. It's clearly only video game logic would allow this to work. <sighs> With the idea that you don't make any noise while you're in the air. So if you just jump towards somebody, they can't hear you while you're flying through the air towards them. Which is, like, kind of true. But then it's also, like, well, the only way it works is if, like, you fucking knock them out in one blow. And it's like, well, what is this 1940s, like, movie logic? But it makes sense. I mean, it works. It works. Sometimes you don't need it to be too realistic, you know? Actually, Looney Tunesing people. I feel like I gotta save before I, I touch any of these ladders, man. slid right off the top. God damn. Fuck. 
I can't grab onto that? I was like, wait a minute, this looks like a path up into this, like, uh, the roof up here. <sighs> you might not be able to do it, let's see. <sighs> this takes you over here. You totally can. Dude, and there's a guy up there. This is not, not possible. God damn it. You have to like land on that other one now. Cause you can't climb up where you're at unless you. <sighs> Get here, and then you can climb up on this. Damn. Oh, you can just climb up here. I think that's so cool that there's like more building and rooftop shenanigans to get into. I'm like, you potentially could get up to that chain so then you could walk up there. I'm like, there's, there's got to be a way to get up there. That's not a big enough ledge to grab. Dude, it's right there. I see it. Climb up here. Climb up here. Climb here. Dude, there it is. I was like, there's no way this is just a dead end. Didn't make that jump. That, that's how it's done. And you can, in fact, get up here. Fuck off. <sighs> we'll eat some, uh cheese or something. Can you only heal so much from food each round? Like, or is food healing a chance? Ah, it's gonna be time to swap my weed out. You can walk over here. You can check us out. He's not gonna see anything. I hold there. Again, villain, perhaps thou will touch me. Uh, was that thy best blow? Thy weapons are nothing to me. I thought, was that thy best blow? Thy weapons are nothing to me. Try again, villain, perhaps thou will touch me. God, you know, I'm just sitting here going, Thy like, weapons are nothing uh, to me. <laughs> me when it me when I'm getting, uh, when somebody's going down on me. Is that your best blow? Ah! 
my weapon. Fuck, dude, this guy's got eagle eyes. Do not think thou shalt escape me. Stagger and fall, villain. Stagger and fall, villain. Come forth and fight me, villain. The builder's walls shall not shelter thee long from righteous wrath. The builder's walls will not shelter thee long from my righteous sight. Do not think thou shalt escape me. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not miss. And thou shalt not keep sucking when I do not. Is that your best, bro? Uh, I'm having too much fun. Okay. Let's go. There's some gold up here. Turn the brightness up just a little bit more. I mean, I don't really. Just a tiny bit. Okay, there's a door there I can't open. It's like I can now I can see the bed that's on the ground. I feel like I should come over here and do this. Um. Not this. Sorry, I just turned that off. Uh, what am I doing? Um, and turn this on. Boom. It'll come back here in a second. I mean, it's not like it looks any different. There. I feel like that's a little brighter. And that's fine. Also, I'm still covering shit. What the hell's wrong with me? I'm not paying attention. This is one of the greatest games ever. I should be framed correctly, okay? Probably the tallest item we'll see, right? Just any taller than that. It wasn't meant to be seen. Ooh, okay, I don't want to jump out of that. Too bad I can't steal the bell's big knock, you know? Oh, what you call it? What you, uh, it's a big knocker. This is a secret. Like, can I break that and get down there with like a fire arrow or something? Yo! Water arrows. They're like, yeah, I guess you can come up over here. Why not? <clears throat> I'm gonna lose all my health trying to get down. It's might as well get something. This is very fun. I like I like being Ooh. I like being on the rooftops. It's fun. This is what the this is why Thief Three was so good. That's why they have this set up like this, so you can walk onto it. All right. There's certain like tips and tricks you gotta learn for Thief. Dealing with the ladders, you can do whatever the fuck you want. It's not gonna. It's not gonna help you at all. Sometimes it just won't work. Or you'll like clip through the floor, or you'll just bounce off it. 
the spoon? I thought that was a key for a second. I was like, yo. I'm just gonna check for purses. That door won't open. I haven't seen like a door that looks like it can open that's missing a handle, except that one that was in the dark. <laughs> Imagine you get up here and the grate just falls. It just like breaks. Speed potion? Oh man, I haven't seen one of those all game. All game? Bro, you're on the tutorial still. Like, I'm still in the, hey, get like one of a couple of different items. Like, you probably won't get the lock picks yet, or you get the lock picks when you go to the orphanage. And it's like, we're in, we're in fucking baby territory right now. We are in, spend some time dicking around and then realize that you can actually get to places you didn't think you could get to, and then go back. It's on site, buddy. Sir, was that you? <laughs> Enemies have some insane peripheral vision. Like, what the hell was that? I mean, okay, I'm on expert. My God, fucking damn. <sighs> I have the gatehouse key, but I don't remember dicking around. Well, maybe we've already done the gate. No, I know where the gatehouse is. It's like right underneath where I got the key on that bridge. I assume you'll be able to go in. I actually don't know how the map's going to play out in this. I don't know if this is like a hub world map like Thief 3. I doubt it. Though that was a cool idea. And it actually worked really well, too. It just, you know, you can feel all the corners cut in development, you know. It's so tight of a game. It's not like, oh. <sighs> so this was the thief that fell down the stairs, so you just threw him over here? It's like he's stunk. An owl hooing? It is. <sighs> or something. I don't know what I'm supposed to know about that. <sighs> there was something about that body. me in half as I'm flying towards him. anything stored over here I don't want to pick it up to take the damage but I was like did he I don't know if he had any oh there's a uh, moss arrow there okay that's nice I missed that last time just start using some of my 
arrows. We just don't have a lot. And, you know, it's, it's good to build up a little store. Every time I'm like, I can do it. I climb up one ladder and make it to the top and don't die. I'm like, maybe it's fine. And then I try it again. It does not work. This is when you hear the click, 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 rum. And it like the engine kicks on because they've turned the boiler on. And you're like, uh oh. And you gotta like backtrack out of the thing. This is... <clears throat> God, did that one made me take fall damage? I'm gonna have to drink a potion. Let me eat my cheese. I'm not gonna drink the potion. I'm too proud. Die. Why can't I crouch? Am I already crouched? I think it's just bugged. Just bugged, yeah. The excellent gazette bringing the truth since eight. Uh, 827. I wanted to say 1827. I'm like, I'm trying to stop myself from saying 18. <laughs> the odious Burrick scandal. The excellent Gazette is shocked and appalled to learn that Baron, that the Baron took part in flag, uh, uh, flag, flagit, flagitous pagan rituals. Flagatious. Like flagellation, flagatious. I think it's probably flagatious. Uh, flagatious pagan rituals. Indeed, this humble newspaper was made aware of the fact that our disgraced ruler once put his manhood in a dead Burrick's throat to cure an illness and supposedly bring good fortune. We, at the excellent Gazette, are left speechless by such a vile practice. Such pagan horror should not be happening. What is the good arch cardinal doing? And to add insult to injury, it has been proven time and time again that the that the Baron, this odious miscreant, has hidden a fortune in Roxburg of all places. The Baron is a traitor to his own nation. Down with the Hammerites. The owner of this humble newspaper would like to express utter disdain towards the order of the Hammer and their obsolete standards. Yester High Priest Bylers told my poltrous and fair wife her henin was obscene. The Hammerites never ceased to reach new lows. Their, re uh, their religion of old must disappear. Shut up, snail muncher! We are at the excellent, we here at the excellent Gazette are furious that uh, Yester, the ambassador of, uh, Sa yeah, Yester. I wanted, I thought uh, they were trying to say yesterday earlier. No, his name is Yester. Yester, the ambassador of Salagd, of Salagin, was befouling our pure language with his frog meat filled mouth. Isn't it enough that our poor city is forced to endure the continuous flow of putrid cheese wheels and disgust? Disgusting wines dishonoring her delicate warehouses that we now have to suffer the disgrace of this lazy morbid's mickering our noble language as well or mimicking fuck I was like that's not a word is it mimicking our noble language as well learn to speak properly or be gone oh shit that's kind of funny isn't it Hey, wait, there's like an irony there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that's too much fun. Do I, ooh, ooh, I do like that you can climb on the chains. But why climb? When you can just jump. 
That is mine, and this is mine. All right. You odious miscreant. He's got a fortune locked away, huh? Fortune 500. I have more fortune than 500. Don't die. Thank God. I hope that's all that's up there. I mean, that was a pretty funny note. I enjoyed that. Never am I so relieved as to get on the ladder the first time. Well, that was, I haven't heard that sound effect before. The landing in there. Hold on, let me jump in here again. Huh? Always a fan of the surfaces. Makes the game very uh, unique. <sighs> Nothing like some well designed sound effects to wet your whistle. There's a ladder right here. Ah, I remember seeing this earlier. Hold on. Damn, it is so fucking dark. It's just a hole into hell. I don't know. Where was the other place that broke into here? Mm -hmm. So I haven't found anywhere to put levers. I'm gonna climb that. Too slow. Let's go in here. On expert, man, they should have bumped it up, man. Only getting 850 on expert? What the hell? <sighs> that made me at least get a thousand. Three pieces of bread. The city's starving, and you're holding three pieces of bread. And you're laughing. You think it's funny? Now I'm like rethinking the entire game. I'm like, I forgot there are like little windows like this that you can open. I'm like, shit, were there some of those uh, elsewhere that I could have cracked open? Whoa, this is good. following me. Hey! I hope it's not some watchdog or another rogue. <laughs> hey! Is someone following me? Hey! I love the fucking voice acting. It's so good. It is the exact same level of just get everybody in the office to voice it where some people are doing a great job and I other... I hope it's not some watchdog or another rogue. Taft noisy machines. I'm getting mad with it. What's he doing? Hmm? Guess it was nothing. Someone following me. You got Draft a... noisy machines. I don't know why there was a big... That's that. Light me up. Hmm. <laughs> He's gonna get suspicious. He's too close. I gotta wait. Like, I can put that fire out there and we can. Please don't come up the steps. Oh, you think I could just stand up and bop him in the dome? I can, like. I can, like. Creep up and hit him with my stick. <laughs> hit, hit him with, like, a Mr. Tim. 
Which mission is this? Mission one. We've been playing it all day. I've been on it for three hours. Well. Did Mr. Tim and him? <sighs> the hell? It's wild. Someone is looking for trouble. Ah, uh, that shit's just too funny, man. Ooh, okay, what does this say? Good punch, 12 GP. A goody punch. Low reach handshake. What are these? Sex maneuvers? The NOS broke and both eyes blocked. The block jacked out and swim in the sewers. Stabbed pawn in the body. No questions asked. Are you liking it so far? It is very good. It is very good. Where's my bow? Hmm. I'm uh, definitely a fan of Thief 1, 2, and 3, so... Oh, this is not good. Don't make me do it. Overpriced food. Overpriced Don't be scared. Overpriced I just want to... <laughs> It, we we had to do it. I should have looked away, but it worked. I could have used the smoke bomb instead. <sighs> it's it is very nice to be back in. Uh, it's it's nice to be back in Thief. <sighs> And I am having a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Dahlquist should be in here, in this inconspicuous orphanage. I'm a fucking no child! Why. It's a front operation. Oh, the and word ends in A-L-L? What if it was Ballquest instead? <laughs> Dr. Ballquest. I mean, my brain's like, that's the funniest thing. It's a modded version. This is uh, a fan uh, map. Fan campaign, yeah. It's been worked on for like seven years or so. So we're not playing as Garrett. We're playing as... Um... I like how that opens. Something about that just reminds me of like a Resident Evil animation, you know? Just gives a certain vibe, I'd like. And honestly, I know, like... Thief 3 gets its shit. I think Thief 3 was really good. I, I had a lot of fun playing Thief 3. It was a very fun game. It's different. And it's janky. But so are the others. You already streamed 1 and 2? Oh, yeah. A long time ago. I streamed 1 and 2, and then I played through 3 more recently. And then I've played 1 quite a bit, but... We should stay on the dark engine. For what it was, it was really cool. I liked the climbing gloves. I liked a lot of the ideas they tried. But it needed, like, another... Like, all the fucking games around this era. It needed like 20 more minutes in the oven. And then it would have been better. This time it's serious, boys. The boss ticklers were waiting for me at my house to tell me the boss don't want any of these so-called downwinders roaming freely around White Bell no more. So the next prigger we catch on our turf, we stuff his mouth with rocks and we smash his face until no more teeth stand. They'll regret having set foot outside of downtown. Downtown? I want to say downtown, but it's just downtown with an E at the end. 
We must make an example. It's crueler. That just sounded like somebody crueler. Or s in my head, that's what crueler sounded like when I saw the name crueler at the bottom of the page. I was like, he sounds like a fucking nasally bastard. I like this. This is new, right? This is nice. It's nothing crazy. But that's nice. It's also streamed to Deus Ex and System Shocks. Yeah. System Shock 1. Fucking awesome game. I even streamed the remaster. And that was great too. I'll stream the second one remastered when it comes out as well. Looking Glass knew how to make some fucking games, man. <gasps> Somebody was angry and hit it. I could knock it out. Alright. I completely forgot which direction we came from. I think we came from... Where did we come from? Did we come from over here? Oh, shit, this is all new. I know there's a sizzler arrow in the sewers. And I saw some unmarked map on a wall that's supposed to point me somewhere. What if the door was open? What if the door was open? I missed one of my keys. So I gotta try it again because I'm always not expecting it to come. It's not the gatehouse key. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this looks like a blast so far. Very well done. It, it is very cool. And it's like I'm still in the first level. I'll say Thief 1 and 2 are your favorite games. Thief 1 and 2 are, are up there. System Shock, Thief 1 and 2. I really like Fallout New Vegas. Maybe I'm a little I'm a little biased on that one, though. But, I mean, a lot of people like Fallout New Vegas. It's, it, it's a hard title to say, like, it's bad. Uh, the other Fallouts, Fallout 1, amazing. Perfect game. Fallout 1 is actually a perfect game. Like, that shit's insane. Fallout 2, also really good. Oh, man. I'm just listing good games, man. Goddamn. Thematically, I think Fallout 1 is your favorite, but goddamn, you love Fallout 2. I, I agree, I agree. Fallout 1 is so tight and well put together as a story and narrative, and it really fits that, uh, the theme correctly. It is really like that, uh, Red Scare era. Oh, you know, gotta be afraid of the bombs and shit. And then, super, like, 50s sci-fi. And then, they, they kind of move into the goofy in Fallout 2. It kind of becomes a little less focused in that, that idea. It becomes, hey, let's say funny things to say funny things instead of let's be ironically funny the whole time. Like, it's your job to serve your nation. If you see a bomb, hide. You know, it just doesn't, it doesn't hit the same in the other games. Ah, shit. And it's fucking stinky down here. This is the next era of uh, games, the smell of vision games. They're gonna send you a little, like South Park did. <sighs> I'm just exploring too. I haven't even fucking looked at the map and it's like, huh? I think I know where we are. I think I've reached in a window nearby here. I remember these walls. Pleasant Bedtime Stories for All Little Masters and Mistresses by Josquin Bradle, the Creeper Stalker, <laughs> for children. He's a very scary monster that likes to gobble children just like you when they are at home alone. But here is, a, here is the tip. 
When he is inside a building, he can only walk on youngsters' footprints. Mark my words, if you don't want him to swallow you whole when you're playing uh, by yourself, take off your boots before you enter the house. So, some guy's gonna follow me, okay? We got the fucking... The Gobbler. We got Finicky Vicky. Icky Vicky. She's an ugly cannibal who likes to chomp on children's meat, but she hates yucky gruel. So if you don't want to, uh, if you don't want her to come and get you, eat as much porridge as you can. The only way to keep her far away from you. I eat like a crap ton of bread or something. I don't know. This could mean nothing, but I'm re I'm gonna assume it means way more than it does. Murky Larry. When the thick black smoke comes from the factories, Murky Larry drifts through the fog. Little ones who stay outside for too long get a nasty cough. And as they, uh, and as they back, at, or fuck, as they back and walk, they hear a strange echo in their own coughing. This is Murky Larry casting a curse on them. Is it hack and cough? I think it's hack and cough. Or hack and walk. It just feels like a weird sentence. For too long, uh, little ones who stay outside for too long get a nasty cough, and as they hack and walk, like they're coughing and walking, I get it, but it's like, I don't get the point of walk being in there. And as, and as they hack, they hear a strange echo in their own coughing. As they hack and walk, like, and walk. Why write? Why use words when no words work well as words? That was a sentence. It it felt like it was going farther, but it didn't need to. I heard a neighborhood where all the old ladies have disappeared. Gilfless in Seattle. Yeah, I said it. Fuck. <laughs> I have too much fun. It's the fat man. Friend or foe? For Is the we... last time, ye idiots, I don't want to be disturbed. Leave me alone and tap off. Calm down, Dahlquist. It's me. I was gonna fucking... Hume? Is that really you? How? When? By the trickster. I didn't know you were back in the city. Yeah, I arrived a few days ago. This place has changed a, a lot, but you seem to have managed by yourself. You can't believe how glad I am to see you. Bunch of lackwits I'm working with. I like his belly. Ah, yeah, it's just I hanging manage, out. But the work is as dull as it can be. Oh, like a pregnant say, babe. I was actually looking for someone who could carry a job. You're the best, and you always come in the nick of time, you sneaky bastard. So. What do you say? Willing to help your old pal out? Well, all right. I'm all ears. <laughs> mission complete. All right. I didn't realize that was the end of the mission. I kind of want to load and check some other spots out, but I'm also like... I could stay in that mission forever. It's already 11 o'clock. I might as well move on, right? What else did we miss? What else would we have missed? I think there's a couple of places I probably could have brought a lever handle. Maybe one place and then another door I could have brought a door handle to. Some stuff earlier on. If I... I will probably scum through this myself and hard find everything, but I'm like, uh, you know what? If I sit there, I'll be in this game for 20 years. It's a little loud. <laughs> it's really fucking loud. 
needs to laugh. Wow, that is loud. Yeah, that was fucking. That was absurd. The rest of the game's not that loud, but the fucking cutscene. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna have to turn it down next time. I'm sorry. It's even capped, so it doesn't get louder than so many decibels. But here it's coming again. It looks like Dollquest has an interesting job for me. I broke it. There's a merchant in town called Monsieur Halliford, who owns a ramshackle manor in the south of Shalebridge. He fancies himself an art collector now, and possesses a precious face with diamonds that Dahlquist wants to acquire. Maybe we can pawn it to some fence afterwards for a nice sum of money. He assures me that Halliford will be away tonight, meaning he left the house to his house guards, and the word is... They've been quite lax, as they haven't been properly paid for quite some time. This is a perfect opportunity to get in, steal that shiny trinket, and get out quietly. Dahlquist has provided me with a quick sketch of the manor. Looks like the place is stuck between several old buildings, so the interior is most probably quite narrow. There's a sewer access nearby, so I can always use it to break into the manor grounds. Though I'd rather avoid the office on the stash from there. there. Trace I haven't thunder. seen Dahlquist in years, so I don't know if this information is truly accurate and reliable. But if it is, this job should be painless and profitable. And I really need the money right now. But what I was going to say earlier is I was like, man, who gave Grandma all the zannies? She's not supposed to have that many. Jesus. Break into the Messer Hofford's manor and steal his precious face. It is most likely kept in the upper floors of the uh, manor. Rumor is uh, Haleford also keeps an expensive golden clock. Steal it as well. There's been talk of an extremely valuable piece uh, devishly kept uh, hidden in a vault somewhere in the manor. Whatever it is, it should be worth quite a bit. In addition to the vase, loot the place for at least uh, 1250 worth of valuables. Show Dollquest you haven't lost your skills by pulling off the job without killing anyone. Return to your entry point uh, once you're done. Okay. I might as well buy the gossip. I'll buy the gossip. How much? I got a thousand bucks. I'll buy like five water arrows. Give me two moss arrows. And a single healing potion. And we'll save 300 for next time. All right, let's go. Citizens blow. True stories. The Baron is a uh, the Baron is an imperial light, only feared by the coward uh, and the villain. A son capable of bringing back the warmth we deserve. But alas. The lion is criticized due to his audacity. He, his latest project, transform Dayport into a perfume garden for our lord and merchant princess who represents the city in the known world. If Stone Market is its uh, bosom and Aldale its gray matter, Dayport could very well become the radiant visage over our, uh, our city deserves. Princess, is that not it? Princes. I said princess. And merchant princes. Princess. Learn to read or leave. Merchant princess. Hey. Okay, it's not illegal to be walking around. That's fine. That's fine. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Let's hit the top. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, who are you running from? Shit. It's like Thief 3, man. Climbing on the pipes on the side of the buildings. The shit was sick as fuck. Oh, look at this. It just needs the climbing claws. It's a grotesque. Epilepsy warning! Epilepsy warning! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, that was good. That was funny. Well, I'm not getting back up that way, so we're going back to this. It's always the damn sewers. Hit the ladders. That is some fast flowing water right there, man. I have no weapon. Because I am no miscreant, okay? I'm just looking for a way to get onto the damn roof. I could have been sucked away over there. Hey, are you on my side? Hey, that's sweet. That's sweet. Purposely put them there so you could do that, alright? That's my water arrow. Put the fucking bow away so they don't think I'm some kind of psycho walking around with a bow. Dude, this is our first joint to case. I'm so excited. I mean, it's nice to start in the, the opening map and getting a, getting a feel for the city, but it's like, you know, you're just walking around the city. Now we're casing a place. After I search all the side buildings. 24th of Sayones, 833. Four battle axes, 750 GP. Very good quality overall, though one had a blade that is a bit dull. Three halberds from Circa, 780. Uh, 1620 GP. Beautiful halberds used during uh, the Wars of the Crest. Uh, Broadsword. Three spectacular longswords acquired... Uh, from Bowen, used by military officers. Uh, Armando said one of them belonged to Sir uh, Ver Virgis Stanos, a famous general. Very good quality with fine and intricate uh, designs on the hilt and the base of the blade. Got them for a steal, too. Note, still no word from Hector and Klein regarding this legendary broadsword, supposedly kept in a strange mortuary on a deserted island to the east. Starting to think the whole thing's a myth. Are these notes for later missions? Cool. Was this your first, uh, Babby's first thief? Do you think they're gonna leave the money in the desk? Stupid. 
Da, 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 da. Hey, are you like cool? I guess you are. I do have to make sure I'm looking at uh, their pockets for items. The auto looting does not work. Hmm. I doubt I can just open the front door and get in. Oh. It's always right after I fucking say it, isn't it? Or even before I'm saying it. I wish you could do this thing. It's like already exists in the game. Just gotta read the menus. I'm sick of eating old fermental and dried pumpernickel every day. Idle hands are the trickster's tools. Yeah, I don't need to knock him out. He's just some guy on the street. Whatever. Go back to a long life of eating gruel. <sighs> Constable Thravis. Before I begin my plea, I must assure you that I am an honest pie seller. My pies are made with 40% of identifiable meat, which is not something everyone can claim in these parts, that come fresh from the slaughterhouse in Grimstock. I even sell them at a price where I'm basically cutting my own throat. It began like this. At first, it was nothing. But youngsters with nothing better to do than coming in front of my stall and caterwailing, uh, mockingly, caterwailing, walling, mockingly, that wasn't hilarious, but it was somewhat entertaining at the beginning. Now it is a whole bunch of jackabones, jackabones, that have uh, the nerve to accuse me of using cat meat in my jelly pies every tapping day. My reputation is beyond ruined. Nobody buys from me anymore. I followed one of these imps, and to my surprise, they led me right to Baryon, right, uh, they led me right in Baryon Street, where the so-called Honorable Guild of Tart, Pie, and Tort Makers Guild Hall is. I even saw that little brat getting paid by those taffers. They tried to enlist me several times in the past, but I always refused. It is a smear campaign, nothing less. I won't allow it, and so I write dismissive to you. Please help an honest pie seller like me, not one of those charlatans who use smear tactics and outright libel against independence. It's not my fault my pies taste way better than the dross they have, at, uh, they have the gall to sell. I'm eagerly awaiting a positive response from you, P. Angleton. Toodles. P.S. Have a pie. Lady Cat. Jack Al. Been hearing odd noises coming from the eastern subjunction. I'm no stranger to those. Uh, I'm no stranger to those. These sewers are older than uh, the builder himself. But I've never heard anything like this before. It sounds like a rattling and a high-pitched squeaking. I've worked underground uh, long enough to know that it's not gases escaping from pipes. The problem is the subjunction is right under the messenger's grounds, and it's off limits to us. But in, uh, or the messer's grounds, and it's off limits to us. But an inquiry has been made. Do you know? Uh, do you know anyone at the department who can provide a writ of access? Darren. Well, that's how we're going to get in. I don't want to go to the sewers again. I'm going to spend 40 fucking minutes reading notes, okay? What's this? Holy God. 
open from the other direction. Anytime I see a chain now, I'm like, shit, does it connect to a platform that I can climb to? <laughs> Scared the fuck out of me, Han Solo. What are you doing? Getting a carbonite treatment? <laughs> Those is bad luck, you know. Fuck you! Mm -hmm. um. <sighs> Dude, I like. Ah, oh, man, this is good. I'm glad. I'm glad that this is out. Holy shit! Game of the year, right here, baby. I'm only like three hours in. I still gotta play Dread Delusions. Oh, you guys aren't even on the fucking street? You're telling me that was pointless? I shouldn't have stolen those coins, but it will give me bad luck. It's a, this is still the legal side of the wall. Stop that move, oh, and shit. you're dead. Don't try. It. Find everybody I knocked out. Body found. Body found. It just needs like the the hitman cam that pops up when they get the body found, and it's like somebody being like, "Whoa!" Looking at the body. I like Hitman. I should play Hitman Three. I haven't played that one yet. Wasn't open before. <laughs> oh! <sighs> now, what do we have in here? Uh, Lily. Don't let his uh, deviancy lead him to discover the worm, uh, the wormwood holes in the Mascarillion bookcase, or we're bound to rub every tapping piece of furniture in every tapping room with cloves oil. I don't want to see the new horrors he brought, or he brought. Uh, this time he found an old torture device, and he wants us to put it in the guest room to challenge the old saying. There are tarts in the shale bridge that pretend to be a vir to be virgin. There's still dry blood on it. Where in Trickster's fiery pits does this creep find his treasures, and where did he get the money to pay for them? Probably doing bad stuff. Yeah. I'm trying to think of a... God, there's a joke here somewhere, you know? There's a joke there. Smarter man could figure it out. Something about taking a shit and peeing and, you know. This food is this hole this food is this hole and the biggest hole is taking a pee um 
is full of secret passages. Henrik told me he found a few in the old part of the manor after noticing the messer vanished only to reappear at the other end of the house. I wanted to know more naturally, so I decided to get him drunk. I had to or I had to have a really heavy hand with the wine that time. He resists alcohol quite a lot. Sadly, I couldn't get much. He only said that it's better not to know more and that we'd better find work with another master at the slightest opportunity before collapsing like an odd piece or an old piece of rubbish. I don't know uh, about you, but this makes me all the more curious. Do you think he has places where he watches us sleep? Or even better, a secret treasury? Come with us tonight for old, uh, for our chores. The messer will be out, and Martin and I are going to take our sweet time looking for these infamous secret passages. Like right here. Oh, it's just a window. I just don't. It's like, you mean like, you mean like, like we're doing right now? Probably one in this bunk room. I can't see shit in here. It's too dark, though. So I can. I don't think I can actually. Uh, that did damage to me? Oh, I thought that was a guy for a second. I was just trying to see if I could actually get into these. I don't think you can. Alright. So I search the bottles. We don't have a key, do we? Oh, I didn't even read the gossip. Hold on. I didn't read it there either, because I was... Oh. Word on the street is that uh, Halford's captain of the guard has quarters on the tower with uh, broken windows that still haven't been repaired despite uh, his demands. Okay. A message from Dahlquist. I have no idea how you ever use these smoke bombs from uh, Jordian and Malfodius, but I thought I'd give you a couple as a token of my appreciation for you taking the job. Uh, uh, for you taking this job was a good idea. So I can um, disorient enemies with smoke bombs. I do kind of want to go out and find this tower and climb <gasps> through that instead of coming in through here, but I also just want to explore everything, so I'm like, shit, I guess I'm going to go this way. guards better if he wants them to behave professionally. Hush. What if someone hears you? Do you want to have your pay withdrawn for another month? I for one think it's about time we had a raise for our hard work. <laughs> the sir can certainly buy his awful exotic items and offensive paintings without any financial issues. Surely he could throw a penny or two our way. Well, that would certainly be nice. Some I love the voice acting, it's so it. good!
Yes, I will carry the entire pantry in my pocket if need be. Just to get a little taste of something that isn't gruel. Ah, oh, man. Didn't want to do that, but... I'm moving up too much. I gotta check some of these other floors out. These are all garbage. I need twelve hundred bucks, so I better be. Somebody asleep in here? They above me. Valuable book. I got impeccable vision in this, so I do not want to. Tempt anything crazy. outside. I missed that dialogue. Will you stop following me around? <laughs> okay, well, we're outside now. <sighs> Which probably means... Oh, God, here it is. Here it is. It's the fucking parkour bit of the century. <sighs> Thank God. <sighs> Water arrow, that, another health potion, a fucking apple. <sighs> now, why did I need to get up here? There's a fucking window to get in over there. Hmm. There's not much else to do here. I can get down right here, which is what that's to help, to help for. Because I don't know if running back this way is necessarily going to be the easiest way to get down. I don't know how I'd get into that window. I could probably leave through that window, but... I just saw a ladder right there. See, somehow... There's somewhere to stand there. I don't think he comes into this room. Let's climb up to that bridge. Fixture. Shit should not work, but shit works. Just built different. Sorry. 
seriously? And kept walking. Still snoring. <sighs> That's awesome. You have a key on him? You didn't have anything on him? What's hmm. in here? More sleeping guards. Ah, okay. So this is the ladder up from the kitchen we were just at. Probably their journals. <sighs> I saw that fucking gold. <sighs> Can't hide that shit from me. I guess I'm just gonna jump. I think that's all that's right there anyway. Might be a mine or something on the shelf, but I didn't see anything when I was up. Okay. Another spot semi-cleared. Is this the tower that has broken windows? Nope. Not gonna blow this candle out. It's too damn dark. Oh, maybe it is. And I was supposed to realize that from there and I could jump to here. That's interesting. Yeah, there's just a tarp here. So I could have... I potentially could have made that jump. If I stacked a box there, I could have done that easy. Okay. That's cool. Good to know. medieval art. Love that shit. This is gonna be fun. See anything now? No alarm has been raised yet. <laughs> Apparently, he knows I'm there, though. Okay. So this guy's gonna come and look at the window, and when he turns around and leaves, is when I gotta jump across. I spent too long here walking down, and then he spotted me. It's 
Pop another quick save here. Into this dark corner. <sighs> oh well, there's a. Come out and fight me. A thing. That is a statue. Let's get the fuck out. Standing, it won't let me in. If I could crouch when I got up there. Okay, well, where would I go from here? Can you make that jump? Oh, there is a fucking bottle to grab right off the corner of that building. Ah, <laughs> oh, I need rope arrows. That totally feels like something you could do. If I had a box, we could probably do it. <sighs> it's on a wood floor. I'm on stone. It is below me. Are you gonna move? Hmm. I guess I could have just walked in here around the corner instead and it would have been ten times easier. Okay, there's a chain over there that'll take me to someplace I haven't been. I like that. I like that. What a nice sound effect. What a nice sound effect. Just somebody fucking full on running inside like a house. Or on the street. Like they're running away from somebody. Or just... I like these sound effects. It's very well done. Maybe it is somebody running. Friendly, my friend. Who want to play some truffle or din with me? Sorry, pal. I didn't take my cards with me this time. Don't worry. I have mine. Oh boy. I should have stayed in bed. Oh, what's wrong? You seem to be upset about this game. Look, why not play a funny game for a change? Like, well, like pheasants and wheat. Aw, oh, come on. Truffle and Din's the best. Just wait until we divide the total amount of black puddings on the head and double the same amount with the five last red jacks on the... I said no. Okay. How about the high watch variant? It's the same rules, but without the melding. And we say truffle din din each time we have the valor of 44 hammer priests and... How about I play with someone else? All right. All right. 
Oh, what about Foshard Fork? Or Black Treacle? Tough off. <coughs> Tap off. <sighs> Chad, is he gonna come in here? He is. I'm dead. <laughs> I got him. Fucking idiot. <sighs> Sometimes you gotta believe. See if I can cut these. Oh, we did it. That's why I need the fire arrow so I can take the bow out and light myself up a little bit. I need like a little hand light that I can take out and put away. I don't actually need one, but... It would be nice. Okay, so here we are again. The City Herald. The extinguisher strikes again. New testimony says, New reports of this mysterious vandal supposedly terrorizing the Scotch Chime neighborhood or the Scotch Chime neighborhood have been delivered to the City Herald this morning, including his testimony from a uh, including this testimony from a certain Mr. Preston uh, or Mr. Preston Hild or Hildebrantus Stonecutter and a statement from the Honorable Seamus uh, Seamus A. Blatt Barrister. Truly, this is the most bizarre thing I've ever seen in my entire life, Mr. Hildebrandtus said, and I have seen peculiar things. Believe you me, I was minding my business in my small shop on Hensfray Street when I heard a commotion upstairs. I was, care uh, I was carefully climbing the stairs. I saw, uh, as I was carefully climbing the stairs, I saw a dark hooded figure in the hallway. At first, I thought it was a, th uh, a thief. I thought it was a thief, Laudanum. Uh, reports of the thefts from the so-called downriders are frequent in the down tunnel, so I hid in the dark, ready to strike this awful brigand. To my surprise, however, this pr uh, person drew their bow and doused all the torches in the room using water crystals. They then went uh, on their. Uh, they went. They then went to their. They then went to their merry way in my house, and my shop. Ext extinguishing all the lights and leaving puddles of water everywhere before leaving some time after the deed was done and my whole place was cold and dark as a tomb. They didn't even steal anything. I didn't believe uh, this tale of the extinguisher that's whispered in the streets of Scotch Chime. But seeing it with my own eyes, there's no way I can deny this knave's existence. The Honorable Seamus A. Blatt, a noted barrister who is used to dealing with mysterious, used to dealing with mysterious cases, and is on the side of the defendant. The defendants is, however, incredulous, incredulous, la, uh, laudendum. Uh, Mr. Blatt defended uh, Mr. Heinz, uh, Heinz Stato in the peculiar case of the food thief a year ago, and was quoted in saying this burglar was just a legend in the city tribunal. I have dealt with many a strange case with bizarre characters in my long career, but never had I heard the tale of a shadowy figure breaking into homes, extinguishing every light source possible, and then getting out quietly without swiping any lucre or without stealing anything at all, for that matter. Dousing torches is, is such a common tactic used by gutter snipes, street trash, and low thieves and low lives, but it's used to it's used to help them steal items of value. In the case of Mr. Hildebrandtus' extraordinary encounter, however, this person didn't even bother to steal anything. 
I must regretfully and publicly state that either Mr. Hildebrandus inhaled too much fumes from the aptly named Scotchheim district and was dreaming high up there in the little dark cloud of smoke, or we are all in the presence of the most uh, of the most mysterious and unexplainable human being I have ever heard of in uh, in that vandal. Surely no one expects anyone to believe such nonsense. If I, a barrister on the side of the defendants, do not believe in such a ridiculous story, how do you think the honorable judges uh, Stenon and uh, Asmalard are going to react to this? This brings me to another subject. These abysmal, dull, and bafflingly stupid cases, we must now... Dot, dot, dot. Rumple ball, eh, blah blah blah. That's funny. The extinguisher. It me. It actually not me. It uh, Garrett. Oh, damn it. I love that I can stand on these bottles. God damn it, I knocked myself off. I can't see shit up here. <sighs> and it hasn't done me any good. Oh, there's the throne. Is this where this guy was? It was where that guy was. I haven't found any secret passages yet. I've seen things that look like secret passages, but I haven't been able to... Let's go loot the throne and then go down there. Are these not things I can read? It's gonna be something to do with these, uh... Statues, or... Well, I mean, that was moved out of the way. Like, this is a secret passage. This kind of feels like a secret passage. Um, to jump time. The extinguisher. The exsanguinator. <sighs> the fuck is this? I looking at here <clears throat> I mean I got an item I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do with this maybe nothing but Very interesting. Turn the lights off. Ah, so this is back over there. All right.
Oh, you can actually peek into the window here. That's, that's, you can actually, that's fucking cool, even though I, you can't get anywhere from here. I mean, it'd be cool if you could climb these pipes, right? You could climb pipes, like you could climb ladders, but I don't think you can. Trying to like lure him over here, but not happening. All right, I guess we're waiting right here, and somebody's gonna get a big fucking headache in a second. But he walks back over here. There was still plenty more to do on the street as well. I just kind of came right inside. And more to do in the sewers. I have to go back down there. Someone creeping about. I'm scared. Yeah, somebody's creeping around. Sucks. Always oh, down here. God, it's too dark. God, these levels are so well put together. Not hit it with the overhead attack. No, we almost died, but that's fine. What are apples for? An apple a day keeps the spiders at bay. There's a magic spider on the wind, he spins a web for you. If you wish upon that spider, it will make all your dreams come true. I'm gonna have to listen to that song. It's a good one. Jump. Sealed off. All right. This is mainly so I can get back. Or so I can get onto this platform here. No, I could swim up here. Oh, I see. No, I can't really. The water is uh, currented, so if I, I couldn't swim across here, I'd. Anything over 
here. Oh, I can. It's just the sewers were one of the few things I didn't miss during my extended stay in the work camp. Yeah. so I can move over here. <gasps> so, how much time do we got left? Till tomorrow. The sunset chime rang three hours ago. Well, at least we don't have to clean it. Everything flows out through the canal. True, true. But still, God and the privies taffing kills me. And build us bones. Why do we keep a post here? Because the captain caught us black-handed sneaking a whore into the dormitories, that's why. Nah, that I understand. What I don't understand is why here, at the privies. Well, there's that canal. Probably in case rat-faced taffers crawl up it. <laughs> you taffing what, mate? Does the captain really believe a cracksman would be so foolish to crawl up through all that muck? No taffing way. I mean, squeals, spiders, plague rats, vermin like that. Ah, squeals. So I don't accidentally collapse all, all the way back down. Someone behind me. Toilets. Wait a minute. You're telling me I, I could fall. This is I I like that the channel actually goes that far down. Like you can see that it's all connected. I wonder if I can get under the toilets at some point. Something down there. Who knows? The like sound doesn't carry as far as I remember it, but maybe that's just because these are supposed to be easy guards. done with two levels of this. It's insane. I like this track too. It's very dissonant, discordant piano. And it's like shifting to lower uh, tones, a lower key. Diminished key, something like that. My techno jargon is not very good. Did we ever get a key? Still have no key. Where was the other guy he was talking to? He talked to some other dude. I don't know where he went. Oh no, I I knocked him out. I didn't think I checked the first guy for a key though. 
There's a ladder here, too. Not that I want to climb it. There might be a key or something on top of one of these barrels, or... No, just checking, just checking. There's something going on right here. <sighs> done or after we found the key and shit we can't take the whole cheese wheel which is bothersome I can't eat a whole cheese wheel I can only eat 10 slices it's like oh okay After that, he fucking heard me. Hmm. There's like two guys that are coming into here right now. It's not just this dude. Nice try, Taffer. Is that your best blow? I could have just pulled him into this side room here. Now we got another grate that leads somewhere. More treasure, which is very helpful considering I only have 500 and I need 1,200. And the three special items. Where does this... This manor is too fucking big. What the hell? Who's that there? Come out here, I dare you. Don't think you can just vanish in the shadows again, Trixie boy. I see ya. Damn. That 
I jumped in the sink and he was like, damn! Trixie boy. back outside. It's like another door I could open over there. Is that how I'm supposed to get here? It's weird like backwards romp. I jump from here to there, which is easy. And I climb up here from down there. That's cool. <sighs> it's a fun back way into here. Any more water arrows? Yes. <sighs> I use this to cheat my way up. this was. Where'd this guy go? You gotta come back so I can knock you out. This guy went, but I hear him like right over here. Must be above us. Dude, there's too many people walking around. Here is one. Thanks to the gold. Turn the lights off here. I hear the other guy, he's in here. Did he wake up somebody? This other guy's gotta be a above us. So many valuables to steal. So many valuables to steal. Fr 
fruit. Oh, did we get one of the things? Was that the cup? Objective? No, it wasn't. It was just a special item. <sighs> What's this purple thing? Just alcohol, can't grab it. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Ugh. Probably worth it. I'm always trying to grab more than one thing at a time. Ah. I was like, why is this bookshelf lighting up or this thing lighting up? Secret door. I am not drinking that. Hm. Anything else in here to grab? <sighs> on these higher shells all right yeah it's good it's good we got a lot of we got a lot of stuff now what are we at 922 value soon they're gonna be like get it in this and in gems and i'm gonna be like son of a bitch that's really when it starts getting hard is when they're like hey find this many gems and find this much uh, gold hey look That's cool. I could have snuck up into here. I think we're gonna go upstairs now. Up here. I'm in this side. Oh, that's actually got a staircase down, too. What the hell? I know he has a dungeon, and it's supposed to extend pretty far down. Okay. When you go down to some place, and the music gets all fucky, and it's like, la 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 It sounds like the intro to a fucking... Bring back the apocalypse by Slippy Time Gorilla Museum. You know when it so starts sounding like that, you're like, okay, maybe we should wait a second before we go down there. Bah, 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 bah. All right, what is that? I know you're around here somewhere. Ah, <sighs> ah, bleh. Come back through here. Give him time. Mm. 
Look at these squashed paintings. Well, that one's really squashed. Or it looks squashed. They all look kind of squashed, actually. Bricks I could pull out now. It's a pretty painting. What was this one? do this. I saw it from, like, way over there. <sighs> I've actually... Oh, no, I was like, have I been in here? <laughs> Greetings, my friend. There's a large granite sculpture called the Keyhole Stone, situated in a canal in uh, Newmarket, close to uh, Hall House Carpet... Uh, or Cap Caprently, that was formerly the Old Town Criers Guild Hall. But I did. But I digress. The locals seem to think that it was placed there in ancient times as a memorial for some event. An odd fellow, an old fellow, told me a story about a portal to another time or something like that. I headed there myself, but the canal was so full of uh, des uh, so full. Despite the drought, go figure. I was forced to watch it from afar. Uh, by the looks of it, there are three. Uh, it is three feet long, two feet broad, and it depicts uh, two crossed keys under a large hole. Hence the name. Could you please look into it? The city archives. Uh, could you please look into the city archives for more information on that? I'm looking forward to pursuing uh, Fenati's. Uh, yeah, Fenati's work on the city's history. P.S. Uh, don't you find it strange that suddenly uh, that he suddenly died by ingesting spoiled meat? Is this just somewhere on the street I could have got to? Or am I going to have to open the back door down here? Uh, most barbarous murder has been committed around High uh, Hightown. Within the walls of Gynebound's bathhouse yesterday night, Mr. Gynebound Corn, uh, Cornisle, a most respectable bathmaster, was drowned inside one of his bathtubs by a fierce madman possessed by the wicked mists of strong liquors. The heroic men of the Baron's police apprehended the murderer, known as uh, Naup, the carpenter. One of the, regular cust uh, one of the regular customers present at the scene commented, he just wanted to force the bathmaster to drink a little of the monster soup that passes his water inside his house. But the mad beast was drunk as a barrel and didn't see he was drowning. Um, at the time of the Summer's Day Festival, a whole roasted camel fell from above and broke down a patrolman's boat in half. Or broke down a patrolman's boat in half. Yes, sir. Captain of the Audale River Patrol commented, It's not the first time and surely won't be the last. The nobles up there seem to think it's funny to throw uh, food down at or throw down food at us. The most esteemed Lord Waldorf, who owns one of the magnificent households by the moat, dismissed the captain's statement by labeling his words as uh, scurrility and uh, or scur scurrility and ridiculous, uh, slander without proof, of the like uh, of the like of a bored sailor trying to fill his boring existence with baseless stories. More on page seven. Fucking camel. 
Don't they know there's no camels in the dark engine? Ah! The fuck was that? Is there no ladder? Saw this high tower pork, uh, pork and L this morning haunting the streets of Smolderbalk with his usual smugness. So bloated with pride, he didn't hear the uh, guard Liu from the uh, old Jurassic upstairs. Then it happened, covered head to toes in piss pot waste. You should have seen the look on his face. I don't know what he was doing away from the high tower, but it's always a great pleasure when the barons uh, lick spigots, uh, get what they deserve. Uh, anyway, back to business. Here's what I managed to s scrape from the buckle and weller's warehouse six iron ingots and two bales of wool don't know what to do with it i uh, don't know what to do with the wool though also someone forgot his gold ring in the office i hope it belonged to one of the salt peters men i took it with me so nothing happens to it but we got to find a pawnbroker and go to, uh, to the cockfight tonight with the fat cash it'll get us uh for lady luck stop smiling at us Those builder welding masks, that's funny. in the water. Can I not? But I can't get <sighs> deep enough down here. Okay. <sighs> and back we are in the house. Stuff to do. It's twelve thirty. Still have to go up. There's like two floors up there. That was just me going down this spiral staircase over here, I think. <sighs> like watch be something here why is it upside down up there that's what's throwing me for a little bit of a loop you know got me a teeny bit concerned <sighs> Fires at Wayside Manufacturers. An honest tannery caught fire yesterday night. Uh, anonymous sources confirm the origins of these fires are without a doubt, uh, or without doubt of victims or vicious nature. Fuck me, man. This is how you know I gotta stop and go get some food. Can't read anymore. What do you mean anymore? This humble newspaper wishes to express its fears with regards to recent arrival of foreigners from Syric. Stay vigilant. Praise be Inquisitor Mogus. Uh, glory to the Inquisitor General Mazgus for all the hard work he and his disciples undertake. No less than three pagans have been freed from the trickster's blasphemous influence. The excellent Gazette wishes to express its sincere admiration of our noble Inquisitor. You're next, heretics. Down with the Amberglin tax. 
The wretched gold lickers from the Mercantile Guild have struck again. On the first seams day of Pam, uh, Pampas Gnosis, the amber, glind, uh, the amber glind shall cost three silvers. How are the honest citizens of the city supposed to feed their families? Is there a limit to their greed? Down with the amber glind tax. Uh, Kara Clock, you can't be serious. Do you really read the excellent Gazette now? Of all the newspapers I've read, that one surely is the most erratic of them all. It's a vile mixture of polar opposites, patriotic and anti-authoritarian reporting, and the same at the same time, the news are so confusing, uh, and the newspapers' opinions change so much, I doubt the writers themselves are sane to begin with. You could be in trouble as well, for that rag is considered illegal now. Some riots broke out at the Dayport Trader Bank last week because this piece of rubbish reported that the owner had replaced all their money with fake coins to crash the city's economy. Of course, all that was an obvious fabrication, but you know how people are. Somehow, I doubt this will be the last case of mass hysteria. This, I doubt this will be the last case of mass hysteria caused by it. The Barons Police are now trying to find the people responsible and where that garbage comes from, but it's a lost cause if you ask me. The papers distributed in the strangest ways, glued to nobles' baroches, uh, uh, baroches, hidden baroches. How would you glue it to a brooch? Unless that's not what it is, a baroche. Hidden in pies or distributed in mute beggars, uh, distributed by mute beggars. Burrick cake. I even saw one attached to a dog's tail once. Oh my God. Shouldn't have put the light out. So you can't turn it back on. I think that's the only reason to come up here. That was cool though. Set myself on fire and die right there. This map is huge. I know I've been here, but I'm like. I gotta go up higher again and backtrack a little bit. Missing like a key or something. I wonder if one of those guards had a key on him and I'm gonna have to go back and find his ass. We're jumping from there. So we got up here. Somebody's walking, but I don't know where they are. This guy's still here? I think I actually haven't been up here either. Yeah, I haven't been up here. This is new. Seems clear enough now. Now. Is he gonna come right over here? <coughs> I 
Is that you? Hey, ah. you fuck. He did come back over that way. God damn it. Nothing to be seen now. All right now, I'll get him. Remember those like little balls you could throw that was like a camera, and then, was that the only Thief Three? I thought you could do that in Thief One or Two, or Thief Two at least. One more guy dead. Okay. Dead. Oh my god! Boobies! And but it truly is thief. No. Uh why would you let me? So I'm assuming this rod of light that we keep seeing in this painting will show up at some point because I heard a note about it. Seems quiet enough now. Oh well. Was that supposed to hurt? Nice love pack, Taffer. Was that supposed to hurt? Do you have a purse on you? You did not. Hmm. The hanged man. <sighs> oh, here's the other room. window like have I been down there that doesn't really look familiar and there's a cobweb window right there I feel like I need to go down there and check that out how fucking tall is this building how many fucking floors have I gone up that mission failed I killed somebody with that the note hits and it starts like pitching down and you're like oh, okay I need two keys I 
haven't found a single key yet. What the hell's going on? I actually somehow got all the money I needed. Ah, so this is how you get into this center spot. Which I have now done. Still no key here. So this was a spot. Okay, I remember that. I thought that was a secret wall, but... What the hell is this? What the fuck's up with this room, huh? So fucked up in the attic, man. <gasps> I haven't been here. Yo, bloody key. All right, we got one key. Vault key note, direct. Don't worry. Now, don't worry you a mite about getting the key down in that hell hole. There's a, there's a caney secret to them statue heads near, uh, them statue heads near his big tree. Uh, snuck there once before, so it's no fear for me. I'll get it myself. Worry yourself about uh, the snatching of the other key. Once you grab it, sneak up the secret way to the vault, and we'll dine fine off the back of his old dusty treasure. Got to myself a buyer for sure. Something about statue heads. Statue head. Found head. I can't imagine how complex they're gonna get when they actually give me the ability to use the rope arrow. This is like all like pre rope arrow shit. It's like, okay. Also, there isn't a rope arrow in this. But I assume they put the rope arrow in. Um, the Grand Inquisitor Locus, famously bo uh, famous both for his towering figure during the affair of the Bewitched of Muttonmere, and for surprising the Burghers by holding a trial instead of ordering an immediate cleansing by fire. Task his scribes to write an account of this mysterious case after a successful prosecution. One passage from the scribes, uh, scribal papyrus interests us. Then the pious man asks John Pepin, uh, a custard monger about what sort of loathsome affronts were done against the builder underneath the village deep into the grottos and the basements and the brave uh, rustic man answered that oftentimes he saw men naked as they were born lying uh, on their front uh, in the cold barren earth moving their hips with the same fervor as one engaging in coitus 
uh, taking great pleasure with these evil spirits named succubuses, invisible to all but their victims. And the goodman uh, could only see from this grotesque uh, accouplement a dark, greasy smoke, vaguely shaped as a curvaceous woman, rubbing herself upon the fallen men, as well as a nausea inducing a uh, malodor of flowers and ripened fruits, emphasize, uh, uh, impesting the air. Joyce Bows, a wet nurse from uh, Sapriby, told uh, Garome the storysmith that at each full moon, the vile hoofed lyre and his uh, caracolate, caracolinate court held ceremonies in the deepest catacombs beneath the Lemurian mountains to fornicate with countless women. And their custom is to know the most beautiful one by the front and the most hideous one by behind. <laughs> In her magnus opus, uh, tract, uh, tract, uh, tract atus de imp a sorti, uh, sortil geese, the abyss verdigast from the order of the mute sisters reported that after reading a certain grimoire whose name has been shut, uh, fervorous nocturnal visions of an incubus appeared before her and she was forced into several misgracing acts with the evil spirit. Like the uh, being, uh, like the being punished her to have uh, rested her eyes upon the secret of a uh, Trixterian magic. It is in great detail that the incubus is described in this tr uh, treaty. The creature taking the impish shape of both man and a goat, and being a possession of a serpent in lieu of a phallus. Uh, all of these terrifying tales. Two points are made. Primo of this luscious operation which isn't uh, committed or practiced by them for the pleasure they take it uh, for the pleasure uh, they take from it uh, because those are cold and calculating beings this coppultory act is forced upon their victims akin to a, an usherer scattering the seed of his future deeds secundo of these disgusting acts they're inflicted upon men uh, they are inflicted upon men for the sole purpose of making them fall into the maw of chaos, where they spawn from either uh, to feast upon their fallen soul or to disgrace the servants of the almighty builder. Ooh. It's a big bed. It's a big bed. He's yelling. Who made that noise? Dude, there's too much. It's 12.50. I gotta hop off and get some food. I'm not gonna remember where the fuck we were when I come back. It's huge. Dear Messer ha Halliford, I write you this missive to regretfully inform you that we cannot fulfill your wish to obtain the two items you were asking for. These were the asshole of the lake nymph, an original Murano from 1821, the cicada, an original Yasak from uh, 826. Furthermore, and this is strictly between us, acquiring art this, uh, acquiring art this, for lack of a better word, lewd, is very difficult these days. Acquiring an original uh, Maruno is akin to asking a Burrick to dance. Besides, Maruno himself is confined to uh, Guild uh, Giles, Giles at Peak. And I doubt he's he will ever see the daylight again. These are not simply nude paintings, Messer. These are incredibly pro provocative, uh, provocative works against modern decency. And you can be assured our houses would be in trouble if the Hammerites decided to organize an impromptu visit. Again, I must sorrowfully state that we cannot access uh, your request. But we have many other items uh, for you should you want to take another look at our collection. Damn. Really hard to buy uh, <sighs> porn back in the day, huh? They're like, we gotta keep all the cool paintings for ourselves. You guys can't have them. They're too provocative for the public. We gotta keep them under lock and key. That's a secret. Desmond. Remember the Smirnov knives you brought some years ago, back when they uh, were just stand, when they were just starting and were actually competent. These are good ones, and they cost a fortune now. So keep them with you. But they're, but they're knives now. By far the shoddiest rubbish I've seen in a while. Buy the new, uh, 
Smenov knives. They're the sturdiest and sharpest in the city. My dimwit head servant actually bought them, of course. Uh, bought them, of course, without my knowledge. To my utter terror, I've had one of these knives swapped not two days ago, and the blade went flying to the other end of the room, almost hurting poor Lady Nicolati. Sturdy, sturdiest my bottom, but sharpest, that's for sure. She already hated me, but now she thinks I want to kill her. It's a miracle she avoided that blasted thing. You can be assured that I had Dominic wick that moron until he was a bloody pulp. I can't fathom why people still buy their, uh, buy their dreck, uh, buy their dreck. The, the shmem, the sh, the Sheminovs are swimming in so much money, they already bought that old baronial fortress near Lower Dark Smoke some years back, and now they've bought another castle in Dayport. Ah, who am I kidding anyway? I don't like the hammers very much, but these raving lunatics look for eyes to pluck at the, uh, pluck at least, fuck. I don't like the hammers very much, but these raving lunatics looking for eyes to pluck at least know how to make good kitchen utensils. I have no use for their pointless hammers, though, so they can stop supplying them to my manor house and shove them where I think. Smirnov, yeah. It's not his name, but... Ah... <sighs> Fuck. All right, well, I'm probably going to call it here. I just need to find the will to actually stop so I can go make some food and do the shit I need to do today. Oh, okay, I know where this is. That's down here. So. Where old faces fade. Alright. I'm gonna... I wanna play Dort Fortis. But goddamn. I don't know how I'm supposed to like wake up and not do this so i think I, i'm just gonna try to play some dort fortis by myself over the weekend and stuff and we'll just do more of this tomorrow you know oh let's go so many good games can i just play this tomorrow yeah yeah this looks this is fun as hell it's crazy i'll just i'll practice some dort fortis myself i gotta pick up df hack and, and do some of that over the weekend grind that fort until we end up dying and then start generating a new world or something but i just gotta practice some stuff stop go back and forth between the wiki you're gonna have to install this too it was this has been very fun and we're at level one and now we're on two and a half like we're halfway through two maybe almost holy cow like I, somebody recommended this to me, and I was like, okay, and I looked at some of it, and I was like, man, it looks good, and you can vote for it to be mod of the year, and I was like, well, if it's up there to be mod of the year, I might as well check it out, and I played Archelos, which ended up being mod of the year in, like, 2020 or something, or 2021, and that was a fucking amazing one, so I was like, if this has potential to be mod of the year, I gotta fucking play it. I think Stalker Anomaly was mod of the year one year, too. But anyway, that's good. I will talk to you tomorrow. Damn, this is cool. Let's play Thief. We're playing it's the best time for Thief 2023 on ModDB. Yeah, it's on ModDB. It's called the Black Parade. It was just a single download. And then when you do, like, the FM thing, you have to hit, like, install it and then play FM. One of them, One of them's, like load it and oh you meant the voting yeah it's on mod db